Messing with the lore is an easy way to find yourself in handcuffs, but messing with the lore on camera is an easy way to go viral. These are the best moments where people were arrested. This civilian was loitering outside of this detective's office. The detective came outside and confronted him, only to be completely schooled and humiliated in front of his colleagues by a random person recording him. Let's have a look. Have you been to the bar today? Who are you? I'm an investigator. Investigator for who? Investigative journalist. I investigate uh, corrupt officials. So I'm wondering, where have you been today? Have you been here all day or have you been out at the bar at all? Working on a fraud case. That's okay. where I've been. Okay. Have you been to the bar at all today? No. Okay. You got any drugs on you? Have you used any drugs today? What a ridiculous question. That's not a ridiculous hey. question. Do you know where he's been today? Uh, I don't... <clears throat> No, I don't keep tabs on them. Okay. I mean, would you would you submit to a breathalyzer for me right now? You're ridiculous. You know that? Same. You've got about five minutes to get out of here right now. Or what? Or what? You're you're on my property. This isn't your yeah, property. It is. Shut the hell up. Get out of here now. What'd you say? I said shut up and get out no, of here. No, you get out of here now. Hey, you better get your you better get your boy. Get your butt back in your office you and do your up. job. You shut up and get you out. You get of here. your butt back in your office huh? and do your job. No. Huh. No. You quit drinking on the job. You understand me? Whatever. You punk. You get your back in there. You don't look back here again. This Karen was recklessly driving and given an $80 fine for it. He refused to accept the fine thinking it was a joke and in a fit of rage literally drove off making things a thousand times worse. That's when the officer had to chase this Karen down and physically drag her out of her vehicle which left her with a much bigger fine when she landed herself in jail. Let's have a look. Well, I did issue a, for a defective equipment. It's $80. Uh, you have till September 16th to take care of this. Uh, get you to sign there with the exodus. So you don't even give a warning for this? You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. Well, I'm not going to give you a warning for something you've been driving for six months. But, well, I don't want to sign it because I don't want to do $80. You don't want to sign it? No, because I don't think that I deserve to pay $80 for something that is fixable and I can fix it. All right. That's all you want Go ahead, to do. step out of the car. Why? Because you're under arrest. Step no, out. <laughs> step out of the vehicle. No, I'm not. Step out. No. Step out. I'm giving you a lawful order to step out. You be fair with me and I'll be fair with you. Step out. No. You're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm placing you under no, arrest. You, step you out. You are for arrest. Do not, do not oh, take shut off. Up. Give me that and I'll sign it. Step out. No. no we're beyond that. You want me Step to... out. This passerby noticed that this police officer was trying to park illegally on this pedestrian crossing as the police officer stated that he would only be a minute and it shouldn't matter to anyone else. He was then sent into a total meltdown when this passerby called him out for this and blocked the pedestrian crossing, preventing him from parking his car there legally. Let's have a look. What are you doing, sir? I'm blocking you from parking on the sidewalk. This is our parking. No, it's not. It's a sidewalk. Your car, please? No. Is You're not allowed to park on the sidewalk. You can go and talk to your commanding officer. You're not allowed to park on the sidewalk. Could you please move, sir? No. You can go park legally. This, this, this is our legal it's park. not legal. Do you want me to cite the city uh, code or the patrol guide? No. You can go park legally. I'm not riding a bike. I'm not riding my bike. You are riding your bike. Could you move your car, your bicycle? No. I'm not operating a bicycle on the sidewalk. I'm standing next to a bicycle. Your, your you can move. Could you please move? No. Are you law enforcement? No. Okay, so you, could you please move? No. Can you park legally? Okay, I am parking legally. No, you're not. All right, can you move, please? No. No, you're blocking traffic. You're blocking traffic because you're not letting me park my car. Can you please move? Well, you can move your car and not block can traffic. Can this after you move? Can you please move? No. Do you want me to cite the patrol guide where it says you can't? No, it's not. This reckless Karen driver was in for a big reality check when this cop got in her face and put her in her place. This Karen then started recording him and wasn't very happy about him, and that's when he shut her door on her, which she claimed was a form of assault and wanted to sue him. Let's have a look. Everybody else? What did you say? Take a better picture. Huh? Take a better picture. Close your door. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault? No, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. Touching my door is assault. Hey. Touching Cut me off door. again like that, you ignorant little cow. Touching my door is assault. Matter of fact, I'm going to take a 
picture of your Touching license Touching my door is assault. And as a matter of fact, I've got you on my dash cam. T Touching my door off. is assault. Touching you know my what? door is assault. You, you entitled little cow. Touching my door is assault. Touching my door is assault. Okay. Touching the, my door is assault. You really think assault. you're fucking important, don't you? Yeah. 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 Why is that? Because you're brown. Yeah. Is I'm that why? Brown. Yeah. Touching my door is assault. You ever cut me off again like that? You're gonna have a serious okay. problem. Touching my door is assault. Touching my door is assault. Okay. Are you a re? Are you a re? Okay. Why would you do that? Touching my door is girl? assault. Hey, you already said that you a re. Okay. Why would you do that? Okay. Why would you do that? Touching. Inside of this gated complex is Karen believes that she reserves the right to every public park because another gentleman decided to take that park She then called the authorities on him and was dumbfounded to what they had to say. Let's have a look Your window is totally different. It's public property So if you want to take this to a lawyer and by all means, I don't care. Go take it to a lawyer, okay? No crime has been committed. You guys need to get out of here. You can go in your car. You can go in your car. You can get your groceries and we can stop this I need his phone number because I am going to talk to him. I will give you my phone number. There you go. If he wants to give your phone number, then he can't. If he doesn't, he doesn't. And I really don't want to, but I'll give it to you for the sake of, look, we live in the same place. If we can't have good energy here, that's a bad thing. I don't know you from Adam. You just bought here from Massachusetts or wherever you're from, Maryland. You, I've lived here 15 years. Okay. You're a newbie here. I just, yeah, I moved here a few months ago. <laughs> we I need your phone number. Being a newbie has nothing to do with this. You don't need to judge him. About I need, that. I need a phone number so if I can. If he wants to give you your phone him. number, he can. Yeah. If he doesn't, then he doesn't. What is it? So I can. 1-800 up your butt. This male Karen was so unhappy with this police officer that he refused to wind down his window and talk to him. It wasn't long before this male Karen started giving him the finger and called the officer just about every name in the book only for the officer to smash the window and detain him. Let's have a look. I'm waiting for your boss to call me off and get in your car. You're a little bitch. Give me my ticket and go f yourself. Go f off you. F off you. You're a f***ing clown! He's got his gun on me now. The RCMP officer has his gun on me now. Listen to him. He's hitting, he's hitting my f***ing truck now. I have things breaking my window! Holy f***ing, get a member here! Get a member here! Holy f***ing, help me! Help me, I won't Send, send somebody now, Send a gun on my husband! He's tripping balls! Send someone now! Help me! F*** me! Help me, holy f help me! Jake. This officer was chasing down this perpetrator on foot after the officer tried detaining and arresting this gentleman for trespassing and disorderly conduct. That's when the perpetrator ran for it and got away, and during the chase, the supervisor of the officer stopped him in his tracks and explained to him that the officer was the one in the wrong and couldn't arrest him. Let's have a look. He is under arrest. He's, uh, he's under arrest. For what? For trespassing and for uh, disorderly arrest. conduct. Our public can, property did not destroy. When he's in front of the business, yelling at everybody. You see this sign? It says. Speech. You want to know why? Because cops like you keep. And he refused to give me his ID, which he's required to do. For why? So I could issue him a citation for trespassing. It's not trespassing. They, they they kicked him out of the property. This police officer was caught parking on private property multiple times. The problem is that he's parked on the top floor and if there was an emergency, it takes at least five minutes to leave this parking spot and get down back onto the base floor. In a state of an emergency, this is obviously too long to get down there and he also has no right to park there, so let's have a look at what he has to say. Just know that this is not the first time I caught you guys up here and this guy refuses to identify, it's fine. I've gotten cops in trouble for that, sir. Benitez 5571. Don't come up to me aggressively, sir. Don't come up to me aggressively. Do, do you need any help? But don't come up to me aggressively, sir. Do you need any now help? you're going to get in trouble with professional compliance, Do you need any sir. help? Or are you just here to badger us? I'm here to ex ex expose corrupt police that are hiding on the roof. During an emergency, it takes you over five minutes to get out of this garage. You understand? So you guys can't park up here. I'm going to report this to the department. You guys need to park on the first floor. Have a nice day. Because during an emergency, it takes super long to get out of here. You're gonna get caught in traffic. 
Sir, I have every right to do this. First Amendment protected activity. This guy has a skinhead cop haircut, the worst haircut in America, the mo the scariest haircut if you're a black person, the skinhead cop haircut. Super disrespectful. He came up to me in an aggressive manner. He has gang tattoos everywhere. I have the First Amendment right to- This Karen was creating hell inside of this McDonald's when she got confrontational with an employee and decided to throw her drink in the employee's face. It wasn't long before her rampant destruction was brought to an end when the police officers had to show up and literally arrest her in front of everybody. Let's have a look. Do not touch my boss! You just touch me! You just touch me! You just You just me! You just touch me! This is how Karen was actually blocking this elevator and accusing this random gentleman of all types of things. These were obviously false allegations and then this Karen started screaming out of nowhere, begging for help as if the man was doing anything to harm her. This wasn't the case and this Karen was absolutely crazy, but things escalated further when she decided to call the authorities on him. Let's have a look. Let's do that. Let's go Chen Morton's. Cool. In fact, let me try and ring Morton's again now. They're closed, by the way. There's an emergency but I, number. Yeah. Do you live alone? No. Let me ask you something. I do live alone, and don't you go in my flat. Get away from my flat. How dare you do that? Excuse me, lady. Can I? Can I? I need to. I need to watch. Excuse me. I don't want to push you. You push me. I don't want to push you. Please. please do. Please do. You have reached the Antibel service for Morton's. Please hold to be connected. Call excuse me. Call you touch excuse me. me. You touch me. Can you I'm excuse me? Please do it. Please do it. Can you excuse me? I need to use the lift. Excuse me. Excuse me. emergency there's a man here who is attacking me he's recorded some of this he's got me trapped in the lift my emergency is I'm trapped in a lift with a man who is won't let me get out who is uh, a contractor here this cameraman was harassing this officer and also police station. He helped himself into their office as he said that he had business there, which he didn't. And that's when this sergeant came out and completely humiliated him when he schooled him in front of his own camera. For some reason, he then thought it was a good idea to post this online, which it wasn't. So let's have a look. What, can I get your name, please? But so until you identify yourself, that's just a costume uh, to me. See, that's just a costume. I, I have to identify myself. Because but you, you don't have to. Because you you uphold you the law. You're a law enforcement. I'm not a law enforcement. If you I wasn't, my name and it's on what the if, camera. What right if what now. if what if I couldn't read? What if I couldn't read? That's just a costume. Until it's, you identify yourself to me as a police officer, I can buy that on I can buy that on eBay. Sergeant, so you know I'm a police officer. I, well, I noticed you've your already, stripes. You've already acknowledged. I've acknowledged that you're that you're already, you're, I acknowledge that you're pretending to be a sergeant. It's annoying to go in circles. I mean, very annoying. But I'm just I think I, I found my constitutional rights being but violated. I just let you annoying. know. You don't think you violated anything by going to unauthorized areas? I did not building? go in unauthorized areas. I did not. Now, I went into camera. public. Okay. It's all on camera. Exactly. So I'm I'm just going to tell you, you could be arrested for possible trespassing, going into unauthorized areas, especially after leaving fake information. That's so, not none, none, none of those not, are none of those are crimes. But I'm just like trespass. I wasn't. I wasn't in a restricted area. There has oh. to be notice. Well, like I said, you know the law, Sergeant. There has yeah, to be notice like or a sign. Cameras, but if you're caught, but if there's no sign, listen. 
Apparently, you don't like reading signs because you already passed these signs that no. you say there's no policies, but you, there are many signs. You walk past you do not have to give You do not have to give your ID. So how can a public, just, Sergeant, just think rationally for a minute. How can, how can they demand me to produce ID when you, as a sergeant of a police department, have no authority to demand ID from me? Does that make sense to you? Come on, let's think Actually, logically here. A, it, this is a facility with closed doors that you it's, are probably it's, trying to get to. It's a closed doors. It, these are open to the public. I have business to conduct here. What, what business? I have to fill what, out FOIA request, Freedom of Information Act with the town clerk. But did you go do that? I was going did you, to. Did you go? Did you I, go straight to that office? I got stopped by your officers. Did you go straight to that office? No. This off-duty sergeant came up to this random person working and started confronting him and accusing him of all sorts of things. It was then that this gentleman started recording this off-duty sergeant and flipped the switch when he started accusing this sergeant. He asked if he could search the sergeant's vehicle and started clowning on him when he was belittling him and saying all sorts of things to him. Let's have a look. What do you got in the car? You don't have any drugs? Do you have any drugs or anything in the car, sir? Do you want to search the car? Yeah, you want me to search the car? Uh, I'm all right. I'm not going to search the you car. Huh? If you, I mean, if you want to give me consent to search your car, that's fine. Are you a law enforcement officer? I'm asking no, you're you. Just, you're you're you saying that? But, I mean, if you give me consent, do I have to be? Yeah, you're man. the one that came up to me. Because I work here, partner. I don't care. So go to work. Do you work here? So what go are you to doing work. here? So go to work. Are you videotaping? Go to work. I am working. What's your name? So, so you're Sergeant working. Sergeant Lomangino. What? Sergeant Lomangino. Sergeant Lomangino. Badge number? 1363. 1363. What's your name, sir? I'm not going to You're not going to tell. No. I didn't no. think you were going to. I'm not to. going to, no. No. Not, That's cool. What are you working on? What are you working on, Loman? Yeah, nothing else to do, right? Uh, obviously, you have nothing else to do. So you sure you don't have nothing illegal in the car? You have weapons? I do have a weapon. Oh, you have a weapon. Is this a is this your personal car, Loman, or is this a taxpayer car? You have to run the registration. Is this personal or taxpayer? It looks like a taxpayer. You don't pay for this, right? This don't come out of your 170 a year, right? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Drive away. You're not. You don't work in this little parking spot right here. Talking to me. Talking to me. See ya. Kick rocks. Kick rocks. Yeah. Kick rocks. Get to work. <laughs> this road rage incident got heated when this male Karen lost his temper over pretending to be a police officer. This male Karen obviously wasn't a police officer and was instead a stolen valor. He was soon humiliated when he couldn't identify who he was or where he works and soon found out that the video that was exposing him for being a stolen valor couldn't be deleted as it was a live stream. Let's have a look. Got a problem, pal. What's that? Do you have a problem? Just filming. Yeah, why are you filming me? Hey, it's public property. I don't give a f what it is. You don't? Yeah, I don't. Oh, okay. Well, it's a free country, so you have a right to feel however you want. Yeah, well, I think you're going to stop filming me, pal. Um, are you a police officer? Yeah, I am. You are? What town are you a police officer with? Never mind what town I'm a police officer. You're live streaming right now. Yeah, because I want them here. Okay, well, you can call them if you like. Yeah, I've already done that. Okay. You said you're mental. Okay. You don't want to leave people alone. Do you know um what famous means? What? Do you know what famous means? Yeah, I know what famous means. Cause you're not filming me, pal. Cause you're about to be famous in auditing America. I just have a question. Why is there a light kit in the front of your vehicle? That is none of your business either. It's none of my business. That's right. Well, I guess you're right. I mean, are you impersonating a police? You just told me you're a police officer. You're god right. I am. You want to see? Badge, yes, please. See? I'm sorry, could could you pull no, that you out again? I don't need to see it any better than that. That looks like a fireman's badge. I don't care what it looks like to you. Okay. Are you aware of the First Amendment? Yeah, I'm aware of the First Amendment. Do you know what it is, sir? The freedom of the press, buddy. Absolutely, that's actually very hey, good. People, would you please call the police? This man's stalking me. Do you know that that gives people the right to film in public? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And do you know that you've identified yourself as a police officer on camera, so if the police do show up, I'll be happy to hand over that footage? Yeah, you can hand it over to them. Okay. This kid was giving these police officers a very hard time when he told him to suck his you-know-what. The mother of the child overheard this and grabbed him and brought him over in front of everybody, humiliating her son and making him apologize as well. She then had a total meltdown at her child, telling him what to do and just completely humiliating him for what he had said. Let's have a look. You tell anybody to suck your Don't you ever dare disrespect 
think you are talking to people like that? This is embarrassing, bro. Go ahead. Why don't you tell in front of everybody? You think you're going to go and walk away because I have rules in my house? Try it. This will be at our house. Look at everybody around here. You're not embarrassed to yourself? Pull your pants up. This man was detained because apparently he was riding his bicycle on the wrong side of the road. This actually isn't illegal and he can't be detained or fined for this, which this officer refuses to believe, stating that he's the officer and the civilian will listen to him. He was in for a big surprise when the civilian knew more than him, so let's have a look. What are you riding me up for? You're riding your bike on the wrong side of the road. It's against the law. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. I'm the one who is the cop and you're not. I'm telling you it is. All right, Title go ahead. 75. Please see me. No, I'm not giving you nothing. Okay, well then you have to come up with the ad. Okay, you're answer. not, bro, you're not taking me nowhere. Well. Bro, you're not taking me nowhere. 41, 41, 9. I need your assistance. Uh, go ahead. On, uh, bro, have you touched me? Don't touch me, bro. Yo, give me my bike. No, I'm not. Give me my I'm bike. rusting your head. You're going into Give me my right? bike, bro. Give me you're my bike. You're going to an interview? Yeah, right there. Let me see your ID. For what? This very difficult customer started harassing other customers when he became extremely belligerent and offensive towards them. It wasn't long until somebody else called him out for his behavior and he stated that he was a police officer and that's why he had this power trip. He then decided to throw out all sorts of accusations towards everybody and was just being really mean to everybody for literally no reason. Let's have a look. Hold yes, on. Please. Yes, we can. Don't you touch If you're that phone. close and I could touch you, well, then you I'll have be, an issue. It's called a three, di three feet. We've studied law. So be quiet. He says that because 9-11 killed his friends, he has every no, right to No, not my friends. They're my that. fellow firemen. I'm a retired L.A. fireman. You don't understand. Yeah, you should be shaken. I am. When someone doesn't speak English and we can't communicate in Los Angeles, guess what happens? Honest. People die. People go bye-bye. He's like walking up on us and stuff. Oh, he actually has gotten to my face. Now quite you're a gonna time. lie. No, I have it on camera. Are you on camera? Let's just. Are you police? Don't worry about. Are you military? Don't worry about. I'm I'm retired, retired fire police officer. Sir, can I have you go? And I'm MMA trained. So you really want to go there? Yes. Seriously, I got some hands on you, boy. Oh boy, Howard. You ever heard of Chuck Liddell? We train guys like that. How about Conor McGregor? Get away from me. Get the away from me! This entitled Karen thought that she created the rules and could do what she wanted. She was in for a big reality check when she wouldn't follow the same rules as everybody else and started belittling the police officers. It wasn't long before she was completely humiliated when she was arrested and taken away in handcuffs. Let's have a look. My name. Now you're it's lying. Not a police officer on the phone. Now you're you lying. in the fitting room. You are lying. Stop. This okay. is the second time I caught you in a lie. Okay. Replay your video. I'm okay. not lying. Okay. Okay. Making the situation worse. No, you are! By not following the law. First of all, I don't have to identify myself. Yes, you do. Actually, I don't. It's called common law. You should read up on it. I do not. Okay? So we both know that I don't. I am a woman of God. This is my right as much as it is yours. This is my land as much as it is yours. I did not sign up for this. I am a Christian woman of God. And you are not going to put your disgusting rules on me that are false and not true. I will not have it. Do you understand that? I will not have it. I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of being lied to. And it's not going to happen anymore. Do you understand? The CDC just released... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This homeowner opened his door to several police officers surrounding him with all sorts of accusations. He had no intention on talking to the officers and they had no legal right to come into his home, which they still did. This person then had a total meltdown towards him as they wouldn't leave, even though he had asked them several times. Tensions then rose when he got quite aggressive towards him. Let's have a look. What do you want to sort out? What have so we, we not sorted out? We sort it. It's a landline. Okay. Okay, no, there's no landline here. But there's still one registered to this house. So what do you want me to do for you? So there, we solved with a 911. Okay, so get the f out now. Sir. No, no, sir. You just slammed the door at me. Get the f out of the house. You don't close the door on the police. I don't give a f I have no right to enter. We do, actually. No, you don't. Do. It's a warrantless entrance. So get the f out. Get out. What's your name? Sir? Get out. I'm not giving you nothing. Get out. We need your name. Yeah, you're not going to get it. Get out. 
have I committed a crime? Am I suspected of committing a crime? Yes. I have a Fourth Amendment right, bro. Don't trample my rights. You're not going to get ID. Sir, you do have a right. Let's go. We need your name so you can Not going to get it. You want us to record that we were out here? What happened? Not going to get it. Okay, so when they call 911 again, you want them to come knocking on your door again. I want to record that we came here, we spoke with you, we confirmed that everyone in the house... Not going to get it. nobody's number. Not going to give it. That is no longer Not going to give you my information because of what you did with the door. Take your pompous prick out of the house. That's it. This driver was caught going almost 30 miles per hour over the legal speed limit. Instead of the police officer throwing the book at this driver, he decided to give him a break and instead taught him a very valuable lesson and was actually pretty cool about it. Let's have a look. You videotaping me? Yeah, that's some knowledge you gave me right now. All right. Yeah, I'm good, brother. Listen. Yeah. Tyler, this is for you, brother. I gave you a break today. I didn't give you 92 and a 65. I gave you a ticket for not having your driver's license possession. You could have got two tickets today, but here's the thing. I don't like to see young kids out here doing what they're doing and not paying attention to what they're doing, okay? Tired of read about them in the paper. 19, 20 year old killed because they weren't paying attention to what they're doing. This could have been one of those cases, Tyler. Wake up. If you don't wake up, you ain't gonna wake up. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I hope so. Yes, Let's sir. not go through this again. This Karen from Hell decided to stop her neighbor as she claims that he stole a package she had, which wasn't the case. After proving that it was literally impossible for him to steal it, she decided to detain him and call the authorities on him as well. This Karen was so aggressive towards him that she started screaming in his face, making all sorts of accusations towards him. And even after the authorities came and deemed this gentleman innocent, let's have a look. I am not happy. I'm tempted to check your pockets. In fact, I'm calling the Police. You can call who you like to call, ma'am, but I gotta go. No, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You know this lady? You are not going anywhere. You might anywhere. go get this lady. You know her? She just signed that package. It was open when she got it already. Okay, well, I didn't you're take the package. You're not going anywhere. Well, I didn't not take not the package. Not she needs to call not Fetch. Not and deal with fetch, but she's not going to threaten me, and she's not going to hit me. And if she touch me, I'm going to knock her out. I'm just letting you know. I taking a picture of you. You can take all the pictures you want. I am filming you right now, cause you are really. I don't believe you. You stole my mala. Don't hit me, ma'am. Don't you hit me? You stole my mala. I never stole anything from you. I'm reporting this to the landlord. I don't care what you do. I didn't steal anything from you. Everybody in this hallway is here. I really don't care. Everybody matches a bunch of thieves. You need to get you some medication. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, you, you need do. to do your job. I am you definitely 100% reporting you. You stole my jewelry out of this package. Girl, I'm I am not happy. Empty your pockets. I'm not emptying nothing. And I have to go. And you have nothing Can to hide. Please and get her. To hide. I'm not proving anything to you. This homeowner noticed that several police officers were trying to come through his gate. He then informed them through the top balcony window that they would not be accessing his property and to close the gate and get off it immediately. This left them pretty humiliated as it was such a tiny gate and they couldn't legally open it and they claimed all they wanted to do was have a chat with him which he tried to do through his balcony. Let's have a look. Now can I help you? Chat from there? No you don't. Got a warrant? What? Have you got a warrant? I did. Have you got a warrant? No, you haven't. You're not pursuing a suspect. I know the laws, so just go away. You can speak to me here, perfectly fine. I can hear you, you can hear me. Well, I'm asking you politely to leave Thank because you. me. you're I'm... causing me distress and alarm. Who told you? Excuse you. Who told you? Leah, come round the back, darling. And no, you're not coming through my back door. Come on. No. I, listen, I am not letting the police in my house. Right, and there's a reason for it. And if you go and check at Swinton Police Station, you'll know why. Okay, last time you me over. Yeah, social services got me arrested when my latest child was born because the hospital right. f***ed up. The only way you're going to be arrested today is if you've been off or you're obstructed from coming to your address. We have to come into your address at Section 17 in case. I'm just telling you, we do have a power to. 
I'm not planning on coming in and locking you up. You just need to check on your kids. That's it. I don't believe you. These police officers are actually highway patrol and they found that several bikers were dangerously and recklessly illegally passing through other cars. That's when they managed to pull over half the bikers where the other half fled the scene and then justifiably completely lost their cool at the bikers when they wouldn't rat out their friends who were just as much in the wrong as they were and putting everyone else's lives at risk. Let's have a look. I'll write a reckless off citation to every god one of you. Every single one of you. Get your boy on the horn and get him back here. I'll write every single one of you. Every single one of you were called in for passing on the burn, passing in the middle. Every single one. It's of my you. buddy. He's I coming. I know exactly who he is. I'm not playing. It's not game. the one on the bike, though. Not the guy on the bike. It was... No, no, no. I'm saying that he was asking me who I was on the phone with. Get him back here right now. I want all your IDs now. Yeah, he's got him. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I don't want your explanation. I want his back here right now. Bull you're getting a reckless off citation. That's what you're getting. I ain't looking at your Give me your registrations and insurance and everything. Get it for me now. Helmet off. You know how many times you guys were called in by murderers? Twelve. Jeez. Almost causing fatal crashes on my goddamn interstate. Twelve times. And then your boy wants to run. You want to tell me you don't know who he is? Every one of you is getting a reckless off citation right now. Give me your stuff. And if he doesn't come back, every single one of these bikes is getting towed. Every one of them for your reckless operation. Every one. Get, a hold get him back, back here. here. You can leave with a piece of paper. You don't get him back here, I'm taking your bike. Okay, so this gentleman got into an argument with a police officer the day prior. Things had heated up quickly when the gentleman called the officer the P-word and went on with his day. I guess the officer lost some sleep over this because he tracked down this gentleman the next day to issue him a fine for what he had said the previous day. Let's have a look. Here you go, here's your ticket. What is it for? Created a public disturbance. What is it? Created a public disturbance? Yep. And, okay, cool. So, right. that's it. So, calling you a equals a public disturbance what's that calling you a is a public disturbance in front of uh, like a few hundred people yeah no i don't yep. think so the, don't don't worry we'll be contesting this one right. um why are you that hurt that you couldn't just give it to me yesterday why can't you just feel like dealing with the situation oh yesterday. yeah exactly because so. you don't have balls you okay. don't all right and now i know you're gonna be good. harassing me we're on good. campus for the rest of the time when you see no. me yeah yeah you are yeah now you know all what right. my car looks like you're good no nah, you're you have the, you, you have leave. a big ego and you're Okay. And I promise you, you, we're contesting this, and you're not. Directions are on the back. Dude, I promise. Dude, you're such an actual. <laughs> it's so funny. All right. That's so funny that you wrote this out. Right. How does this make you feel? Right. Does this make you good. feel good? It does. It does. Yeah. I bet. It, I bet it does. Okay. You're I bet. All set. It, I bet it does. Okay, so this gentleman got into an argument with a police officer the day prior. Things had heated up quickly when the gentleman called the officer the P-word and went on with his day. I guess the officer lost some sleep over this because he tracked down this gentleman the next day to issue him a fine for what he had said the previous day. Let's have a look. Here you go. Here's your ticket. What is it for? Created a public disturbance. What is it? Created a public disturbance? Yep. And, okay, cool. So, right. that's it. So, calling you a equals a public disturbance what's that calling you a is a public disturbance in front of uh, like a few hundred people yeah no i don't yep. think so the, don't don't worry we'll be contesting this one All right. um why are you that hurt that you couldn't just give it to me yesterday why can't you just feel like dealing with the situation oh yesterday. yeah exactly because so. you don't have balls you okay. don't All right. and now i know you're, you're gonna good. be harassing me you're on good. campus for the rest of the time when you see no. me yeah yeah you are yeah now you know All what right. my car looks like you're good no nah, you're you have the, you, you have a big ego and you're Okay. And I promise you, you, we're contesting this, and you're not. Directions are on the back. Dude, I promise. Dude, you're such an actual. <laughs> it's so funny. All right. That's so funny that you wrote this out. Right. How does this make you feel? Right. Does this make you good. feel good? It does. It does. I bet. It, I bet it does. Okay. You're I all it, set. I bet it does. This gentleman noticed that this flower vendor was actually being harassed by these officers and detained. And it turns out that they were giving him a citation and this gentleman oversaw the conversation and decided to intervene. The officer then stated that if he didn't back off, he was going to be arrested. But as this gentleman believed that he knew the law, he told them that if they laid a finger on him, he would sue them. Let's have a look. How you guys doing? Yeah, stay over there, man. What, what's your badge number? My badge number is 1243. And, uh -huh. back over and what's your name? My name is Officer Okay. I'm Can I talk to your have, supervisor? Can you bring a supervisor? I'm not gonna. Can you bring your supervisor? It's okay. If you, ask you one more if you time, touch me, I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna tell you that much. What? And I know I'm gonna sue you. And I already know what my rights are. So can you please bring your supervisor? 
No. Can you bring a supervisor? Let's no. Back on the sidewalk. No. Back You're supposed the to bring a supervisor. Okay. You're under arrest. No, for what? These police officers helped themselves onto this man's property and even opened his gates to let themselves in. This homeowner was anything but polite about it when he saw what they were doing and came out demanding their information and got extremely heated towards them. This went on for a while as this homeowner completely put them in their place for illegally accessing his home and fishing for illegal information. Let's have a look. These guys come on our property without permission, open our side gates. Are you serious? Where's going to, I want your details. 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 Give me your details. I want your details. I want your details. Why you come on my property, open my side gate, and then come in my property without permission? Jason. I want your property, that's not my name. I want your details, give me your details now. My name is I'm from Hornsby Police Station. Yeah, Hornsby Police Station, and yours? My name is Hornsby. Yeah, really? Yeah. That's true, is it? And who gives you the right to come on our property without us, without ringing the doorbell? Hey, Jason. Man. Who gives you the right to come on my property? Who gives you the right? You idiots. These students were studying together when this Karen decided to butt in and suggest that their Police Lives Matter sticker on their laptop was offensive. This Karen then had a full-blown meltdown at them, screaming all sorts of things towards them and refused to leave them alone until they had left the premises or because of a sticker. Let's have a look. What did I do wrong? You have a bad... You're, you're offensive. <laughs> police Lives Matter? You have the same <laughs> sticker. We're just trying to do school. What? You guys have the same sticker as the other... But this is our space. We've got a Police Lives Matter sticker and we're getting kicked out. Can't do school. You, you, you just said we have to leave. No, I said... You're making this space you uncomfortable. You uncomfortable. But you're white. Do you understand what a multicultural space? It means you're not being centered. White's not a culture? No. No, it's not a culture. It's white is not a culture. Say it again to the camera. You think whiteness is a culture? This is insane. So anyways, this is the violence that ASU does, and this is the type of people that they protect, okay? This white man thinks he can take up our space, and this is why we need a multicultural space, because they think they can get away with it. I'm asking you to leave if you have any consideration for people of color and are marginalized. So clearly don't. room that I can go? Yeah, the whole rest of the campus, the whole, the second floor, the first floor, the whole MU, every single part of the campus centers you. This is the only space that you're not centered and you're still trying to center yourself, which is peak white cis male bull. Yeah, I'm racist. I'm just oh, you're not you are racist. Your sticker is racist because police, that's a job. You can choose to be a police. I didn't, I don't choose to be black. This paying customer was held against his will by this Walmart employee who believes that he shoplifted. He even showed the receipt to this employee to prove that he did pay for all of his items. But this power tripping employee decided to stop him from leaving, which is actually illegal. Things then escalated quickly as the man got quite aggressive with him and just wouldn't leave him alone. Let's have a look. Come my way and you're not going to push the car into me. That is assault. So please move. Go get your manager. Go get your manager. Go ahead. Go get him. Go get him. I'm not going to get your manager. I'm not getting him It's not on either. me to get him. You're the one stopping me. I, here's my receipt. Now you're in, now you're holding me hostage against my will. Yo, can you go get the manager? We can stand here all day. You're underpaid, man. It's cool. It's all I good. I get it. Yeah, you're underpaid. I get it. It's all you're good. mad at life. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. It is. You it's cannot stop me. You cannot stop me or hold me against my will. That is illegal. You can follow me to my car if you like. I'm not getting out the store, but Dude, I, you, you can follow me to my I'm car if you like. Out the store. So now, now he's, he's blocking Hi. my way. Look at that. That's Hi. illegal. That's Hi. holding me against my will. Hi. Not going to have somebody hold me against dude, my you're will. Just, you're on me, dude. No, I'm dude, you here. cannot legally do that. You're standing on me. No, I'm trying to go around you it and you keep matter. getting in front of me. I You're can't wait. To I cannot wait to post this online. Post oh, dude, it. TikTok's gonna blow up because of this one. 
Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Dude. Look at this guy. So first off, your guy cannot stop my way. He cannot get in my way and he cannot physically no, you don't get he cannot physically touch me. And I've been recording the whole Yes you did. You? Oh, I got bounced into me, bro. Okay, so this lady found herself in a dispute with this officer. Now the officer refused to provide identification or establish who he was, and this only made this lady even angrier. This lady went on to signal that she was recording this gentleman, and that's when this police officer turned around and gave her something to record. Have a look. Okay. Public duties. Get over there. My public duty is go that way. Yeah, get over there. And you just want to arrest me. Yeah, get over there. Get over there. You're just, what's your name though? Hurry up. What's get your name? Get up, over there. Stop shouting at me get and tell there. me your name, please. You want to get pepper sprayed? Get over there. Hurry up. What's his name, sir? What's his name? What's his name though? He wants to pepper spray my face. What is your name though? What's your name? Oh, you know you're this gentleman was in a heated argument with a group of officers and he believed that he was in the right. He ended up trying to school them on the law when he had a total meltdown at them as it was a little bit excessive what they were doing there. They ended up doing a total roadblock, inconveniencing everybody and surrounding this gentleman with several officers all because of a traffic violation. Let's have a look. No, dude. No. No, I'm fine right here. I'm fine right here. No, no. You know what's safer? is How about one of you five people go get in your car and move it? Because you guys are taking up two separate lanes. So then cars wouldn't have to drive around your cars. For what? For you guys trying to sit here and take my car? No, I'm going to sit here next to my property. Why? Because I guarantee life, liberty, and property without due process. There's no due process here. There's just a bunch of guys that are about to steal my property. Why? Because I called you and told you I was going to. Yeah, dude. I want everyone to know you guys are a bunch of thugs. Good, dude. I want everyone to know. See you the camera, dude. You guys are all. You guys hide behind your badges. You guys have bonds, dude. You guys can't just go around and violate people's rights. You can't. There's called substantive rights. You guys swore an oath to uphold the law. You guys are the first ones to get violated. For what? Where's your mom? Do you guys turn on your red lights for what? Is there an emergency? What's the emergency situation? Okay, so this gentleman was doing some work on his home when his neighbor called the authorities on him. It turns out that his neighbor wasn't happy and believed that he was doing work on her part of the property line, which wasn't correct because he had a conveyor come out and confirm where his property line was, and that's where he was doing the work. It then turns out that this gentleman knew who this police officer was. Let's have a look. So keep on talking. You have no business here. Am I breaking any laws? That's right. Yeah, now I'm going to keep on. Your property line is over there. No, it is not. I can show it to you again. Come here. I have two feet on this side of this. No, you don't. That it belongs to me. Legally, I couldn't put this on the property line. I think you probably you did it illegally anyway. Why would I do stuff illegal? Because you Are you, you, you committed me a crime? No, you're seriously. A I'm not going to I'm an idiot. There. You're an idiot. I'm not going to get in there with you, Scott. You're making a out of I'm, you're the one who like call the cops and you're here you're calling me an idiot no i'm calling you an idiot and you're saying i do illegal i'm a, I'm, a, I'm an idiot because i'm doing stuff on my property how much no. have you what what's, what have you been doing lately working making money making eyes. millions let me see your eyes you expect let me, me a crime let me see your eyes take your sunglasses off let me see your eyes what are you suspecting me of let me see your eyes let me see your eyes. Are they dilated? Mine are good to go. Good to go? I don't know. You've what done more drugs in your life than I have. You don't remember. I do know you as a kid, right? All right, Scott. If that's what you Some people want to deal with that. And then some people never grow out of anything. Oh, anything. That's Except why you came to... stupidity. Oh, stupidity. That's why you're here about this and I'm just here living my life. Yes. No, you, no, you haven't been living your life here, dude. You've been living your life in West Point. Really? Because I don't even live in West Point. Well, where no. How do you? Why, why do you think you know here. me? I know it's not here. But the, who owns this place? I, who owns this place? Tell, you can't tell who owns it because look at it. It's a mess. No different than your place. This police officer was intimidating this woman by harassing her and following her as well. The reason being is apparently this officer had his feelings hurt and wanted to detain this woman over it. She tried to tell him to leave her alone, which he refused to do, stating that she can't tell him what to do before walking her down and trying to detain her. Let's have a look. Tell me why you why he's being arrested. 
can you not? Let me talk to you. You can talk to me. Stay right there. You don't tell me where to stop. Please don't okay. back into What's me. your name? Okay, so what's going on right now is I was here waiting for a coffee and your boyfriend comes back to me very close and he goes, hey, look what it is, it's a pig. And I was like, excuse me. No, he doesn't have cops. Okay, what if I came up to your boyfriend or you and called your name? And then we go, oh my God, my feelings got hurt and I walked away. And guess what? Guess what? And I said, can I help you? He goes, no. Tell me no. where it's illegal to say that you, I'm sorry, I don't think you're a pig, but tell me where it's illegal to well, say that. Well, it started to be a harassment when he starts to garage. Okay, so he's in the morning and he hasn't had coffee yet. Okay. We'll make we'll make it a day. We'll we'll see what we can do because we can't have him going around cops you, and calling people names and be disorderly. Because you can't handle anybody saying something mean about you. Not just me. Probably everybody else he's run into. No, because he's had a lot of bad issues with cops. This recording was outside of a police station recording the property when a police officer confronted him. The police officer wasn't happy that he was there and thought it was illegal to be recorded when in fact it was public property outside. The recordee then continued his day by recording outside, which he was legally allowed to, which sent this cop into a total meltdown when he tried to confiscate the camera. Let's have a look. This is how you act with the public? You're not supposed to record, my man. I can record whatever I want. No, you can't. I'm yes, telling. I can. Okay, I'm telling right. you. Okay. It's a federal law. All right, know your laws. Find out. Okay. Find out. We're gonna find out. I just out, came from man. the front of the building. All right. We're gonna find they out. They tried the same okay. doing right now. Okay. We're gonna find out. My All man. right, Snowflake. We're gonna find out. Why are you out here melting like We're that? We're gonna find out. Look. Get done with you. You gonna be melting. <laughs> You're a funny guy. You know that, right? Always, always gotta have. Money. This is what I do. Camden County Police Station. They know who I am. Exactly, because I'm recording, doing my First Amendment right. It's a protected activity by the Constitution of the United States of America. If he doesn't like it, walk back inside. Leave. Do your job. Is that, it, your safety risk has nothing to do with my constitutional right. You understand what I'm saying? It's like you have a constitutional right, we have a constitutional right. Listen, this is a one consent party. <laughs> call you want. Nice. Call Sergeant, um, Sergeant May. Yeah, call Sergeant May down here. Okay, so this off-duty officer was trying to go on a power trip towards these construction workers. Basically, he was demanding to speak to the supervisor, but he was an off-duty cop and the construction crew hadn't done anything wrong. So they reasoned with him and said that they can speak to their supervisor if they can speak to this off-duty officer's supervisor. Not having the authority to tell them what to do made this officer very angry and demeaning towards this crew when he decided to pull out his phone and start recording them. Let's have a look. And why are okay. you saying he has an attitude? You do. You're the one with the attitude right now. I don't have to leave. Uh, well, then we're going to go the street. Here and babysit you. You're not babysitting me. Now, so I've been doing, doing this here? longer than what you can imagine. Here? I came over to have a conversation with him, and we fixed it. Now you're over here causing more of a problem. You told me he had an attitude. I said you had an attitude. You are totally... I need a supervisor from you. You choose your battles wisely, you fellas. Already, you've already lied to me. You said he was pulling out of there. No, what? You're not going to have a break here in the turn lane. You told me he was right there. You were lying sack. I said, now I'm you're right here and I turn it. Now you're cussing at I'm me? I'm sitting right He knows that. He was I hit you right here. He just told me. You know what? You're a nobody. Point, you get out of the street. Your, quit pointing your finger. Get out of the street. Come here. Thank you. I think you know everything. I think you know everything. Now you're trying to push me. You touch me and you're going to jail. <laughs> You, see, you, you see just, what well, I see, see, see this, right? I got it on camera, right. what he just did. You know, you know this is street. going on YouTube, right? Get out of the street. These friends were sitting in their car together when a random passerby came up and confronted them and started accusing them of all sorts of nonsense. This obviously wasn't the case and it wasn't long before the accuser decided to call the authorities on them even though they hadn't done anything wrong. Let's have a look. The man came up to this car and turned around. He came up to our car and called the police and said he smelled in our car. Sir, I hope you know that's not legal. Because there's no weed in this car. I hope you know I'm calling 911. You already called them. Tell them to come. So you're the, you're the one that's going to end up going to jail. Oh my god. Is it even funny? Hello? He's calling them again. I'm by the Buffalo Stop. There's these two African American oh women. Again? They're in their car. But they're not wearing masks and they're not wearing seatbelts. We're in our car. We, why would we need to wear a mask? Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to step away from the car, please. The city of L.A. 
and LA County we're requires actually Orange County. that everybody wears a mask when they leave their home. But we're in Orange County. We're in a We're country. minding our own business. But you being out here brings all of us out. I'm high risk. Then leave. These officers were accusing a gentleman of something that he didn't do when they had detained him and were searching his vehicle. It was then that the officers were talking to each other and stated on the unknown camera that the gentleman had done nothing wrong and they knew that he was in the right, only to then lock eyes with the recording camera and completely humiliate themselves. Let's have a look. But he's, he's perfectly innocent and he knows his rights. He knows what the Constitution says. You got air fresheners under the seat. Wasn't a very good alert. Hey, Jay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's running. A group of friends were creating mayhem on these roads when they were doing wheelies and pretending to hit cars. At the last second, they would pull away from the cars, intimidating people and sometimes even damaging the vehicles. That's when a group of patrol cars showed up and tried to detain these kids and they all sped off. It was then that they were inevitably cornered and the police officers came out and detained them. Let's have a look. To have fun, you guys should have helmets. You guys are supposed to have, yeah, I see you do. I'm just saying, you know, you guys listen. have licenses. Right, just be a little safe for your, for your safety, okay? All right. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys stopping. Thank you very much, okay? Get off the bike, dude. Wait, wait, let me search us on. Get off right, the bike, let me search us on. Wait, wait, get off. Just take their bike. Yo, not, get wait. their name. And I told you guys you're supposed to have license. Sergeant warned you guys about your. Oh, Can I talk to you? I gave you yeah, I just got out of my house. Get off the bike. Get off the bike. I gotta get off, sir. Hey, well, there's, there's another situation that happened before I, before you guys stop. From my house. And your man is out of control over there a little bit. And you know, you're gonna have to take, you know, his, his actions into consideration. Okay, so this Karen was at a skate park and she was harassing some skateboarders for no reason. That's when a random person came up behind her with a jug of water and poured it all over her head. You can only imagine how embarrassed she was, but it didn't end there. That's when this Karen chased after the gentleman who poured water over her head and slipped and fell down because she was wet. Let's have a look. I mean, like I mean, you call the cops. Like, no, 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 no. Put your hands on like, like, it. Ew. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Take her away, boys. Take her away. Several police officers showed up at this lady's door claiming that there was illegal activity on her premises and for this reason wanted to search it immediately. Unluckily for the officer though, this woman knew her rights and told them that unless they had a warrant, they would not be entering her home, let alone searching it. This left several officers humiliated when they thought that they could get in and try to pin something on this woman, which wasn't going to happen. Let's have a look. We're here is we received a complaint that there's criminal activity going on at your residence. <laughs> so... Okay. What we have to do, anytime we get a complaint, we have to investigate and say that it's either unfounded or that something, you know, confirmed that information. Okay. So what kind what, of criminal activity? So it could be that, you know, drugs are be being sold from this location. Okay. Or that drugs are inside of the location, that type of thing. Okay. So what I want to do today, ma'am, is take a look inside. No, you're not going to take a look inside. Okay. You got a search warrant? 
No, ma'am. And, and that's okay. what I'm going to say. You're not going to take a look at that. Okay. That's not going to happen. Okay. Well, let me explain to you kind of our process so you're aware of what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. We receive a complaint. We investigate it. Okay. If, you know, it's unfounded, we're out of your hair. You never have to deal with us ever again. It is unfounded. There's but, no drugs in my house. I have two kids. I'm disabled. Right. My husband is at work right now. Okay. Nobody mean? here has a criminal record. I have no okay. criminal record. My I husband understand. has no criminal record. We just moved here from okay. across the street. I've okay. lived over there for five years. I just moved over here last month. Sure. So, no, you're not. If you Give me a search that. warrant. You can come on in and look and, all around you want. this is the thing. It's not a problem. Our process for when we have a search warrant is SWAT comes, busts down the door, That's goes fine. through things. That's well, fine. I don't want to have to do that. Because when, nothing's, I, when y'all okay. damage my stuff and y'all find nothing, you're going to pay me, so it's fine. This gentleman found himself in an argument with the law when they believed that he was driving without a seatbelt on when in fact he believes he was. He then started laughing at this police officer refusing to sign the forms and gave this guy a very hard time because he believes he was in the right when the officer believes he wasn't. The officer then became quite agitated because he wouldn't sign the documentation. Let's have a look. All right, Mr. Warren, what I have here is a citation, okay? It's gonna be for what we discussed, the yeah. seat belt, okay? Yeah, perfect. What I've done is I've assigned you a court date of 20 August at 10 yeah. o'clock in the morning if yeah. you choose to appear in court. Yeah. If not, you have up until yeah. that date to yeah, I got you. a citation. I hear you, loud and clear. What I'm gonna ask you to do is sign the bottom of this. <laughs> I'm you that it's not a mission of guilt, just stating that you have in fact received the citation. Hey, nah, man, I have my seat belt on. And comply with You can try that, board. my okay. seat belt on. Okay. So what? Are you refusing to sign? Do I have to sign it? I'm give, giving you the option to sign it. Are you refusing Do I have to sign it? If are, I don't sign it, will I go to jail? Are you refusing to sign it? If I don't sign it, will I go to jail? No. Are you sure? What did I just say? So if I don't sign it, you will not pull me out this car and take me to jail? That is correct. You will not issue a warrant out later to, so they can if, take me to jail if, later? If you do not comply with the citation or appear in court Boy, on your the assigned date, Man, oh my mama. You will have a warrant. <laughs> Alright, man, give me the man. This gentleman actually had the police called on him because he was parked in front of somebody's house. This officer then pulled him over to find out what was going on and was shocked to find that the person in his own car didn't have to explain himself to the officer. This left the officer quite confused and wasn't sure what to say about the situation as he wasn't doing anything illegal, just simply sitting in his car. He soon then lost his patience and tensions rose, so let's have a look. Can I help you? Yeah, we got a call about a suspicious vehicle in the area and it matches his description. What's suspicious? Uh, he said you've been parked in front of his house. You were parked in front of his house for about an hour, hour and a half. Yeah? Is that suspicious? Yeah, that, it's kind of strange. What's going on? Nothing. Just sitting in my car. Okay. Do you live here? It doesn't matter. This is public. Okay. You got your ID on you? I'm not getting ID'd. I haven't committed a crime. Why would you I need my ID? Because I this is a, I like a private neighborhood. This is a pretty quiet neighborhood. Okay, is this a public place or, or a private place? It is a public road, okay. correct. Thank you. Am I have I committed a crime by sitting here? No. Okay. Then I would not like to ID myself. Because it's my right to not ID myself. What 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 is the issue here? There is no issue. I'm over here minding my own business, sitting in my car, and you're coming up to me. Correct, because yes. I'm getting a call. It about doesn't you matter if you get a call. I've done nothing illegal. People can call all they want. Do you call? Do you, you run out and talk to everybody that's parked in their car? Uh, when they've been sitting in front of a house for an hour and a half, I generally do. This customer was minding their own business inside of this store when a Karen walked up to them and completely assaulted them. This Karen justified the assault as this person is a little person and didn't respect them at all, which was extremely disrespectful and she wasn't expecting to be recorded and exposed for this, leaving her completely humiliated. Let's have a look. Forgive you for what? For you thinking being disrespectful, I just give you love. And how is love? How is that love? I'm from Ukraine and I'm hurt, and I just want to give love. It to doesn't people. give you the right to come sexually assault me. Right. You don't want to be spanked by a stranger. Okay. Spent, you don't know what he's going through today. Are you excited about this whole conversation? I was not excited about you coming up and smacking me on the bottom. I'm sorry that you do not want to have a conversation as an adult about that. 
Ow, 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 ow. So you come up and assault someone and take video of it. Yes. For a while, you make it up. Oh, did I make up you coming and smacking me on the bum? How about call police right now and do that? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Please. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Exactly. 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 You are nuts. You just can't look at you. That's what I'm saying. Don't don't yeah, don't much... touch people when you don't know them. Yeah, you don't. You come don't up. know if we're crazy. You don't know that. You don't. This recordy actually came to this police station looking for trouble. He started recording all of the officers coming in and out of the building before obviously a few of them came to talk to him. They stated that it wasn't legal for him to record, which it was. So he sat there and did just that. That got these officers quite confused when they jumbled around with the law and wasn't sure what to tell him to get off the premises. Let's have a look. This is not private property. Put your camera down, please. So this is are you are you a law enforcement officer? You are not allowed to take pictures or videotape this. I'm not you allowed to go on the street and do the same thing. But this is public property, sir. No, it's not. This is state property. Can I who know who you are? Right now the police are being called because you're trespassing. Trespassing you have to have criminal intent. I don't have any criminal please intent. Leave. I'm not engaging in criminal activities. That's what trespassing comes okay. with in Wisconsin. Right now, you're you do Lady you have no authority. You have no authority you outside of this outside of that camera. outside where you just left. That's where your authority okay. ended. Okay. Put the camera You're not law enforcement. You're not law enforcement. So I have to leave the property because I'm recording peacefully. Yes. You can go out on the road and record. Are you a law enforcement officer? Who are you? I'm What's your name? Supervisor here. What's your name? Okay, I don't want to have to tell you that. What's your name? My name is Daniel Tony. I'm the security director. I need you to go off of the state property. What's your name, sir? I already said it. Now you need to go out on. I just want to get your name before I leave. I did already. It's recorded, right? Yeah, sure, so sure. I need you to step off of state property. Are you law enforcement? We had notified law enforcement. Near okay, so... This gentleman was pulled over by this officer and detained, but the gentleman wasn't doing anything illegal. He actually knew his rights and the law, and that's when he confronted this officer very heated and started belittling the officer right in his face. This went on for several minutes as he stated the law to the officer. Let's have a look. What do you got on your little screen? What do you got? Nothing. Nothing. What do you got? No shine shall be located on rope or any structure. No, sir. Sign shall be... Flashing, mobile, or reflective, or made with cloth. Okay, it doesn't play. Correct. Keep going. Keep going. Find the one that says I can't hold the sign in my hand. You ain't gonna find it, bro. It's not there. What do you think? I'm an idiot. I don't do my homework. I know the law better than you do. You just pulled up state and a bunch of that doesn't even exist. So there you go. You don't even know what you're talking about, bro. You're not a lawyer. No sign should it advertise structure use or advertise. I'm not advertising or enough attention to the public. You're a Attracting attention to yeah, the public. Yeah, uh, it attracts attention to the public. Well, your your emblem on the side of your arms, uh, uh, a sign that attracts Thank attention to the public. What the hell are you talking about? You want to write a ticket, bro? Write the ticket. You want to arrest me? Arrest me. But watch. I'm not going to arrest you for a village code. You do whatever you got to do. Do whatever you got to do. I invite you to. I invite you to, bro, because you're wrong and you're going to lose. So if I was you, I'd put your little cop car here in the drive, I'd go down the road, and I'd try to find myself some crime to stop. Four cops visiting my house in one day. You're angry over a little minute. No, you know what I'm angry about? Your tyrant bully, uneducated, riding around intimidating people, being a bully, and standing up for jack that pay your salary. That's what I'm tired of. You're corrupt, bro, and you're exposed, and we're going to keep exposing every you until you're done. This gentleman had taken his dog to the dog park and let it off the leash to run around. His dog ended up getting a little bit too close for comfort with another person's dog who happened to be a Karen. She believed that this was some form of assault and confronted the dog owner for this, stating that his dog assaulted hers and immediately called the authorities on him. Let's have a look. No, why are you calling Hi. the cops right now? Hi. Because I told you I wasn't leaving the park dogs. because Watch my dog was humping your dog. Right I'm not verbally assaulting you. I told you I'm not leaving. The Attleboro Dog Park. That's inappropriate for the dog park. No, it's not. I know. It's the dog humping each other. And she's calling the cops <laughs> because my dog humped her dog. Every do I've seen every single dog hump another dog here. And she tells me to leave, and now she's calling the cops. Like, are you serious? Yeah, they will. They'll, they'll Yo, I can't wait. Yo, this is crazy. Cause this, you heard of barbecue, Becky? Cause this is the newest one. Right here. Let me get her plate. 
Let's see. So everybody know who this woman is. We can look this woman up. No, you can't. Three Z. Honestly. Honestly. I'm just you're not trying to help me. No, you're not trying to help me. I know the rules. You're not I, obeying the, the, the dogs, rules. I'm obeying the rules. What yes. are you talking about? You I'm right here. You can't allow your dog aggressively on top of another the dog. The dogs hump each other every day, and opinion. I took him off. The, I took him opinion. off. And I know That's it's my opinion, but you don't call the cops over it. That's, That's all I'm saying. That's not you just the don't call the cops. This Lyft driver showed up to this location to pick up a passenger only to be greeted by a law enforcement officer. The law enforcement officer stated that it was illegal for him to be there, but also wouldn't let him leave when he took down his license plate and detained him. Let's have a look. Got back on property. You don't want to comply. Sir, I'm a Lyft driver. I was directed to come to this location to pick up a passenger. Can I get a supervisor? Can I get a, a supervisor, please? Uh, supervisor? Yeah, I'm give me a supervisor. How can I, help you, sir? Uh, I want your supervisor. I am the supervisor. I want your supervisor. I am the supervisor. You have a supervisor. I would like to speak with you. I am the supervisor, sir. That's nice. I would like a supervisor, please. This is the location that was shown to me on Lyft pickup. I told you. And you I was down here, and then you kept telling me. That you don't want to be down here, so I don't want to be here. I want to pick up my passenger and you move on. Leave. You told me you weren't leaving. I didn't say I wasn't going to leave. I said bye. You didn't say bye. That's, that's the I time. said bye. That's Just time. standing right there. You so said I said bye. I'm fine with it. I'm good. I got all day, baby. I'm here to pick up one of your employees. She said to pick up at the employee parking lot. She said it was an employee no parking lot. This is the area that I was directed to drive to, sir. Okay, so this gentleman was coming out of a convenience store and noticed that a Karen was coming out as well and walking to her car which was parked in a disabled parking. Obviously this Karen was not disabled and when this gentleman called her out for it, she said it's okay because she's a cop. This Karen tried to justify herself parking in the disabled parking because she was an off-duty cop. Can you tell him to just like leave me alone bro? Like, what is your problem? Like, why are I, you fighting with me? Miss, I don't have a problem. I understand, it's, but like, you were parked over there. There was nowhere to park. Like, I pulled up but for it's, two but seconds. It, but it's disabled parking spot. Okay, so why it, is it, it bothering you so you, much? Are you disabled? Were you trying to park there? Maybe I am. But why is it bothering you so much? Hi, everybody. How are you? Like, my what? father is disabled. Okay, but was your father here trying to park here? If your father was here, I would move in two seconds. But you shouldn't park here. But you told me you were a police officer. I, and I am a police officer. You're a Haver police officer. Not a Haver police officer. But you did earlier. But I am. But I am. I'm a Revere police officer. Revere. What's Revere. your name? My name is Christina. What's your badge number? I'm not giving you my badge number. Well, no need to give my badge number. But you have to. If, no, I do not have to give you my badge number. If you identify yourself as a police officer, you have to give me your badge number. You, you want me to call my husband? Yeah. Call your husband. Here we go. JFN69. Really, really yeah. yeah, but you're a police Yo, officer. He won't let me move, bro. Tell him to let you're me move. You're a police officer. Yo. This gentleman was detained in his car by this officer because he was eating fast food outside of the same fast food restaurant that he just purchased it from. This officer couldn't see why this wouldn't be a problem and refused to let this guy continue eating until the gentleman said enough was enough and put up his window and made the cop watch him eat. Let's have a look. Okay. So once again, the reason I'm getting out with you is you're parked here to close business after hours. Okay. I understand. I see that you're eating. But the reason I'm out here with you for this is because we've had recent burglaries to the business and we need to make sure that everything is properly done here at these businesses. The businesses are private property, especially after the businesses are closed. Does that make sense? Can I put my window up and continue with my meal? Uh, I'm going to say no. That way I can stay in contact with you until my supervisor gets here because apparently you don't want to answer any of the questions. Can I give you like two inches? That's fine. Oh, you can see it. This is going to be better for the video. You can see Taco Bell. Is there here. a reason that you picked this parking lot, though? Are you from here? It's right next to Taco Bell. Are you from here? It's right next to Taco Bell. Are you from here? Like, you couldn't go I'll give home? you that one. I answered that one. No, you didn't. Are you, are you, like, you couldn't go home? I'm not going to answer any of your questions. Okay, you're perfect. This is a closed business. 
It's considered loitering prowl, and you can't be part of a closed business if you're eating your food or whatnot. Simple thing is when they ask for identification, you're supposed to provide it. Am I free to go? No. You got identification on you. I'm literally not going to answer any of your questions, so I, am I free to go? I'm going to start at ring ring. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Eh? The police had to attend this small collision between these two people when this lady was not happy that the officer sided with the other person's story and believed that this other lady was the person who caused the incident. This lady was not happy that the officer blamed her for the incident and tried to prove that it was the other party, which wasn't going to happen. Let's have a look. Mistaking it? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Here. This is where my damage is. This is where my damage is. Did you see this? And this is where his damage is. Yeah, I saw his damage. Okay, but you didn't see my damage. I this saw is that, where... but then how did you get that? How did I get what? This. What are you is talking about? already there? What are you talking about? That, is it already Show there? me what you're talking, point to what you're talking about. This. Man, really? There? What are you talking about? What I'm just are... asking if it's already there. Now, be honest. You know that's not. What do you see? What do you see? Tell me what you see. I'm just asking if this damage was already there. I don't, I don't understand why you have honestly, an attitude with me right no, now. No, because I don't think you're being fair. Okay. And now, there is absolutely no damage here. Okay. Now, you can clearly see there's no damage on this car. But you can see when he... I his damage. I exactly. And then that. No, you didn't see that. This creepy neighbor was left humiliated when he walked up to a car parked on the street and confronted them lying about being a friendly neighbor. This creepy neighbor went on to ask all of the girls on a date and after several attempts of being denied over and over again, he soon realized he was being recorded for what he was trying to do and made a quick getaway. Let's have a look. Hey. Hi. I'd love to say hey. Hey. What's your name? Emily. Hi, Emily. And you? Jennifer. Jennifer. We don't know each other? No. I feel like maybe I've seen you before, but I'm not sure. Tell me your name again. Hey, Emily. Emily. Would you like to know me better, Emily? Huh? <laughs> I have a boyfriend, actually. Your boyfriend doesn't have to know, just like my wife doesn't have to know. All right. Do you want my phone number? I can love your phone number. Okay. <laughs> I, can I ask you how old you are? 18. 18? Yeah. Would you like to hook up with me sometime? Do, would you? Honestly. I couldn't do that to my boyfriend. Well, I would then, feel bad. Then what's the point in giving, you, giving me your phone number? Do you have any pretty friends as pretty as you are? No. Maybe, but probably no. I'd sure love to hook up with you, Emily. All right, well, I'm gonna go now. Should I take your number? I think it's okay. You think it's okay? Okay. All right, have a have good day. Good you as well, then. And, um, your, na your name again? Jennifer. Jennifer. This police officer was actually left humiliated when he was called out for being a stolen valor because he was wearing police attire but had nothing to do with the law. After being caught in his lies, he then admitted that he was actually an undercover police officer and also a security guard at the same time, which obviously wasn't the case before continuing to embarrass himself and eventually losing his job as well. Let's have a look. Hi there. Yeah. All right. So... You're an actual Cleveland police officer? No, no, I'm not with Cleveland PD. I work for uh, Cleveland Watchmen. We're a security company that hires only off-duty police officers to do traffic control. For, uh, are you an off-duty police officer? Yeah. Yeah. So who are you with? Uh, Pickway Sheriff's Office. Pickway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. So you're you're out of. They do. Uh, Ohio, and you're yeah. here working in Franklin County in Whitehall as an off-duty police officer. No, I'm working as a security guard. So we do. No, you're a uniform marked as a police officer. You're working as a police officer right now with a car that has red and blue lights on it. Yeah. All so right. I've got, I've got some paperwork I can give to you from. Absolutely, that, and I'll need to get your you. information. Right. I've been asked yeah. to come up here by my deputy chief and get that. Okay. Because yeah. Here you you. Okay. So I can't get a hold of the chief from Richland Township, which is Glenmont. Um, it's Richland Township. Yeah. So it's 
It's a township police department no, or it's a village, village? Village in Richland Township. Yeah. Okay. It's a village in Richland. But you have no, but you have no ID from them. No, All right. No. These friends were being disorderly when the authorities inevitably came and arrested them. The other friend thought it would be a good idea to intervene and try to free her friend from the handcuffs, only to find herself on the ground and also in cuffs. Let's have a look. I just mean I've done nothing wrong. Why? Let me get She's get a real soldier. Oh, <laughs> more glad. Uh, Let's go, bloody nose. Can you go this way? This shit is crazy. Now she getting away. Oh, man. Soldier. Soldier, now she getting arrested. Not me. Oh, man. This shit is arrested now. No, man. Look, see, say help her then, she just help you. Don't get caught. <laughs> okay, so this gentleman was walking through a neighborhood that he actually lives in when he was confronted by this Karen. This Karen stopped him in his tracks and believed that this gentleman did not live in the neighborhood and for this reason denied him access into the neighborhood and told him that he would escort him home. The problem is though, this guy literally does live in the neighborhood. Let's have a look. Go away right now. Call the police. Hey, they've already been called. They're just I'm waiting. Fights with who? You Let's know go. what? Maybe you should hang on a little longer. We'll Let's see go. how it goes. Then we won't have to get the report by ourselves. What is it you're doing here? Walking. Then, then walk. walk. Okay, and that's what I was doing. So she came out of the house. So ran well, out. you've been here like 15 minutes now. Let's go. Walk away. Keep walking. Walk oh, away. Man. I already walked away. Walk away right now. You need help? You got this on camera. I'm happy to help you. I didn't hit you. There's a difference between pushing you. You're the aggressor, buddy. You're aggressive on the neighborhood. You better walk away. You walk away. You talking to my wife right now? That's your wife. Walk away. Walk away. Check it out. You either walk away or I'm gonna carry you out of here. What do you want to do? You better not touch. Or what? What are you gonna do? You up on me. Let's go. Walk away. This young man was awoken during his sleep to several officers surrounding his home. They were looking for his brother and demanded information from him that he didn't have to give them. These officers were shocked when this young man knew his law and didn't give the officers the information they were looking for. Let's have a look. Come on up. Gotta see who else is in here. Nobody? You can't come in there. That's fine. Here's the deal. You obstructed your, your brother who is on a felony right now. Okay, you obstructed it. You can go to jail for that. Do you understand that? How? You knew because he was you in knew here. He was in no, here. I did you not. Because when future. you knocked on the door, I had just woke up. You knew Why do you think you know something? You knew he was in here. No, I did not. Yes, you did. How you gonna tell me what I know? He, here's a How you gonna tell me what I know? Answer that question first. I, I, I'm waiting. Come on. Okay. I had just woke up. Exactly. Here's you can't, you can't do nothing, bro. You ain't got a so warrant. You can't. You can't you do know. nothing. Hey, so hey, bro. Hey, bro. First of all, don't be disrespectful. Don't be old, bro. Do something. Come on, I don't. What? Where's your idea? What do you mean ID? I'm 13. You're 13? Where's yes. your mom at? I don't know. Her boyfriend right. house. We'll call your mom up real quick. This lady was actually left dumbfounded when she was detained by multiple officers who claimed that she was graffitiing property, among other things. That's when they decided to search her property only to find literally nothing and she was completely innocent. Instead of apologizing and admitting that they were wrong, the officers actually doubled down and still charged her and trespassed her even though she didn't do it. Let's have a look. Look at my bag. You guys are just sitting here saying I'm, Can you yeah. Move it around for us? Do you see any paint? Do you see any paint? Do you see any paint? You guys just said I was painting on a wall and I haven't been painting on anything. I said, just said I'm leaving, I'm making a TikTok. So when I asked you that, your and I said, you, no, I didn't. You said, I, I, no, no, you didn't, no. I, there is a reason to get upset because you guys are saying I painted on that. There's no paint. I haven't been painting on anything. Okay. Do you mind just moving the stuff around your bag so we can see? bag look at it i don't have any paint i have to lie for i just said i haven't been painting on anything you're giving me a personal look 
Yeah. Do you see any paint? You guys just said I was painting on the wall. Do you see any paint? You guys are up. No, you guys are up. Okay. Do you see any paint? You cannot come back. Do you see any paint? Do you did you see any paint? Did you see any paint? Did you see any paint? Because you just said I painted on the wall. Did you see any paint? Did you see any paint? Ivani? Did you see any paint? Ivani. Did you see any paint? So there's no apology? There's no apology. I was you guys for what? We're asking. You guys just accused me of painting on the wall. You just like yes you did. Yes you did and I have it on camera. You just accused me of painting on the wall. You just accused me of painting on the wall. If you come back here I don't give a I don't give a I don't give a This gentleman was outside of a police station and he was recording it as well. A police officer thought that this was quite suspicious and decided to come over and confront him and demanded his information, which this recordee didn't hand over because he knew his rights. The officer then became quite confused about the situation because he didn't know how to get this gentleman to identify himself, so he ended up calling several police officers over. Let's have a look. I'm alright, brother. How's it going? No, thank you. Alright, can we see your IDs? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your ID. Sergeant Christian Rogers. No, your ID with your address and all that on there. So what you want to see my ID for? Film our police station. Yes, your ID. Is that against the law? Officer Rogers. That's against the law? What law is it against? Officer is here. Because I thought Florida. I thought. I thought. Yeah, I thought Florida Penal Code 901.151 states Absolutely the only not. time I must present ID to you is when I'm in the commission of a crime, about to commit a crime, or have committed a crime. So right That's now, Florida Penal Code 901.151. Well, go ahead and investigate. I don't have to investigate. I don't have to commit. No, you're not saying my ID. Yes, I do. No. Not until, you can, not until you can tell me what crime. The back of a secure what secure crime secure. have I this committed? This can be seen from public. Uh, absolutely. Right. So what crime have? I just want to know why right. you're filming it. None of your business. None that's of your business. You know, that's not even necessary. If you want to know why we're ID. filming it. I just told you. You're not saying my ID. Okay, that's fine. That's okay, so that's fine. I'd like to identify you guys. Look, you, you don't need to identify me. Who are you? Yes, I do. Sir, yes, I do. Uh, I got your ID. You, like you would like to identify. Well, I'm going to identify you. No, right you now. are. You're going to violate my rights to do so. How am I violating your rights by asking But your because Florida Penal Code 901.151 okay. states that the only time I need to give you my ID is when I'm committing a crime, about to commit a crime, or in the process of committing a crime. So what you need to do is give me reasonable, articulable suspicion that I'm breaking the law. You're filming the back That's not, the Supreme legal. Court rule photography in itself is not a crime. You and can't. this is a governmental facility and I have every right to come out and record you guys in the course of your duties. So what crime am I breaking? What You're crime filming in the back of a police You said, said that five exactly times. You don't You're need to know. Who you are you? No the Supreme Court is over you, buddy. This gentleman was confronted and surrounded by several officers on this bus. They stated that he was there illegally because he didn't have a bus pass, but as they couldn't search him, this gentleman didn't have to provide one, and they couldn't detain him either. He ended up putting these officers in their place as they became extremely angry about the situation, as he was being quite difficult to deal with, but did know the law. Let's have a look. Stop, 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 Listen to me, I'm answer. asking you a question. I'm, I'm asking questions. No, I'm asking you questions. If he has to see a bus pass, why well, didn't you I got just told you again. Why didn't you ask? Why, why you I got on the bus? Prior to him getting on the bus, I had already paid my fare. I don't have to answer to him. And I get off on any stop I please to get off on. This one just opens doors, all three doors. Nobody checks passes. So, yeah. do you know? Check You're not going to harass me on the bus. Okay, so you hear, oh, what, he, sir. You hear what he said? I don't care what he said. Okay, so May I have my legal pass back, this sir? This is his job. Okay? You Thank don't you. know who or That's when my, they came. You see what they said? This is her pass. I'm her attendant, okay? That's her pass. It's bro. my pass. I'm in possession of this, so okay? You tell me. No, I, I've told you. Get an ID on you? I'm reading an ID. Yeah, you I'm a charge. See your ID. I'm accused of crime. Let me well, see your ID. Care, I asked you a question. Right am now, I, we are investigating. So am, I, am, I, am I being detained? detained? Right now, you are. If you're going what, to, what crime am I about so to let commit? Me see this. What crime am I about to commit or about to commit? Because for security, you didn't show them a bus pass. That's not a crime. Okay, listen to me. It is if you're going to be on the bus pass. What, bus what, bus what is it, a crime or a misdemeanor? That's a misdemeanor. Okay, then. Then you arrest me for not having a bus pass. <laughs> <laughs> These Karens were causing a scene and being a nuisance when they were detained by these officers after intentionally budging into them and even trying to assault them. These girls were soon humiliated when they were immediately taken to the ground and arrested, only to scream for help and have their friends who tried to help them also get arrested as well. Let's have a look. Let's go, bloody nose. Can you call the Oh, you ain't got This shit is crazy. Look. 
Oh, uh, you can kick him in the head. Oh, uh, mate. Man. Hey, bro, you picked the wrong job, you know, soldier. You realize that? Oh, Now you under arrest and she getting away. <laughs> now she getting away. Oh, man. <laughs> soldier. Soldier, now she getting arrested. Not me. Yeah, you record it. Wrong. And why is she bleeding? He hit her. She's not letting me explain. Oh. Because driving behind us, me. You can't beat him up, though. I'm not beating him up. He's trying to hide us, me, and I've done nothing wrong. Why? Let me get in your camera. And your nose bleeding. Yeah. She getting arrested. Yeah. Okay, so this male Karen head came up to this completely random stranger and accused her of having an illegitimate reason to have a disability sticker on her vehicle and doesn't believe she was disabled and shouldn't be parking there. This lady was obviously shocked and appalled when she stood her ground and found herself arguing back and forth with this gentleman over how she can legally park here. Let's have a look. I'm also a and that's fine, and you gotta park right. You got a park right. Just because you have a sticker doesn't you have a park mean right. right. You don't know what's going on with me either. It That's matter. why it costs you to mind your business. You don't need that, to be it, in it's that not spot. Mind your business. Is it your park? It doesn't matter. Do you pay for it? it? Is federal law. Is it your business? Tell you what let's, do. let's get North Augusta out here. Get him out here. Now, fucking, we'll just get him out here. Right now. Get him out here. Not a problem. Man. Get him out here. Cause y'all need to learn how to mind y'all business. This mind is not y'all state. This not y'all city. Y'all, it's not your business. You're in my business. Okay, you're in my business. We'll find out what you do, you're in my state. business. You upset and you got to park. And he's upset about a, a parking lot, right ma'am, because I'm parked in a parking spot uh, and I have a handicap sticker. He's mad about this difficult customer was denied service and asked to leave the premise which he refused to do, he then started grabbing all sorts of items and claiming that he was going to break them or simply hide them in a place where the clerk couldn't find them. This male Karen continued harassing this employee for quite some time until the authorities actually showed up and arrested him, humiliating him in front of everybody. Let's have a look. Like it, kid. I can break it if you want. I know what destruction of property is. I can honestly just hide it somewhere you wouldn't find it. That's you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Show him that. Can you come and point out the other one I want? You want to show him this? Because I'll, I'll drop it. I'll be there. I'll drop it and make you clean. I also think that it perhaps could be some sort of bigotry at work here. Not only that, but discrimination at its finest. Do so you think this is the right way to do stuff? I don't know. What do you think? Have you this Karen had actually stopped this gentleman and detained him, demanding information from him, as well as his ID. The gentleman obviously wasn't going to give this to a random person, and that's when this Karen states that she used to be the president of the homeowners association and thinks that he's up to no good. The gentleman then completely puts this Karen in her place for making up such an accusation about him. Let's have a look. Why do you don't think I live here? Because of the way I look? Because why? I, until two weeks ago, I was president of the homeowners association. Okay. and. To my knowledge, I know everybody who lives here. Okay. That's the only thing. So why did you assume that I don't live here because you don't know me? Because there's only 42 buildings. Only 42 buildings. You knew every single person in 42 buildings? Where do you live? Huh? Do you know every single person in 42 buildings, ma'am? Thank you very much. I rest my case. Do me a favor. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stop with the fake laugh and just go. <laughs> All right. It's not a fake laugh. I think it's Enjoy your day. Funny. I mean, we have this happen. This Karen came up to this gentleman's property and literally stole his bike right in front of him. It wasn't long before he tracked down the bicycle and claimed it back, only for this thief who got caught red-handed not to give it back and was actually so entitled that she would only give it back under the condition that he gave back her other bike. This thief then had a total meltdown at this gentleman and even got aggressive about it as well. Let's have a look. We found her. We found her. 
camera phone out of your you face. You will? We're on public property, yeah, man. I don't care. That's my you bike over the there. Right to videotape I'm just trying to record yeah. the bike. Uh, oh, it's not yours. Oh, it's not mine. No, right now it's county property. Oh. Property oh, it's county property yeah. now. If really? You call Ricky, get the out of my face with your Ricky? camera phone. Ricky Bobby? Ricky Bobby's not coming to help you. Oh. You're in Manatee County. I am? Really? Yep. Uh, so that's not my bike. That you didn't you didn't take that from my house. Nope, it's not yours anymore. Oh, anymore. According to that guy. You got a bill of sale? It's all his. Do you have a bill of sale? Do you have a bill of sale? This Karen couple rear-ended this student's car and then refused to take the blame. This Karen had obviously had too much to drink and shouldn't be driving, but instead of taking the blame for it, they doubled down and started abusing this victim who didn't do anything wrong. You can see the pure embarrassment from the husband's face as the wife makes things even worse. So let's have a look. Inside, you, you've been drinking? Have you been at the game drinking? No, I no. said we're getting No, you drink. said you've been drinking. You. This is white entitlement right here. I need your insurance, please. I'm giving you my insurance. I need your insurance. Thank you. Thank you for yes. being respectful. Okay. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm trying. Yeah, you. Sp okay. Or Indiana, or whatever. I'm not Indian. You don't belong in America. I don't belong in America. Are you videoing? Yes, I am. I will be getting your license plate. I am videoing you. I guarantee you will probably lose whatever job you have for this. I'm sorry. You know what? Go you should yourself. You should. Wow. You should. I mean, dude, I'm sorry. You have to. You have to witness this. This is. This is your own wife. I'm sorry for that. Okay, so this gentleman was working out at a gym and he was recording his back so that he could see his form and see if there was anything he could improve on. Another member at this gym found this incredibly offensive and actually confronted him for not wearing a shirt and got extremely confrontational with him. Let's have a look. So I don't even know this dude, and I am confused as hell of what's going on, because I don't understand why he's cursing me out and stuff. So, but he continues to stare at me and flip me off and mouth things to me. So I just had to say something. I know you're talking, buddy. Talking about? Talking about? What do you think? What are you talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about? Okay, so this kid was in the library and he had misplaced his phone. He accused everybody around him of stealing his phone, which nobody did, and that's when he went into a full meltdown and started screaming and abusing everybody. The people recording were mocking him and laughing at him, and he was visibly frustrated about losing his phone. Let's have a look. I, I checked on the floor! What have you- This woman had jumped into this prepaid and pre-booked taxi only to try to change the destination without paying extra. The woman that was in the taxi did not pay for this taxi and she wanted to go further than what had been paid for and this wasn't going to happen. The gentleman tried explaining this to this Karen who had a total meltdown and actually called up her friend so that they could both harass him. Let's have a look. Have you paid him anything? How did I book this cab? Have you paid him anything? How did it become Have you paid him anything? So how did you're gonna you're go? gonna text the company and they're gonna refund you the money. You haven't paid him anything. What company did we text? Ask who has booked it. Why are you talking to me like that? You we booked you, so take No, you didn't book me.
Send them message and they're going to refund you the money. I don't know why you're making a fuss about it. Are you, what are you, are you, mom, is he stupid that I could have covered my face? Idiot, suck your stinking mother, you stupid packing ground. Silly packing man. Okay, so this gentleman was inside of an Uber and his Uber driver had a little bit of road rage towards the person in front of them. The person in front of them were taking their time parking on a busy street and this Uber driver ended up beeping at him. That's when the other driver who ended up being a police officer confronted the Uber driver and had a total meltdown at him. Let's have a look. Okay, what? You gonna let me finish? Stop, Stop interrupting me. Well, who do you think you're talking to here? No, I'm every time I open my mouth, you have something to say. When you're driving up my ass, when I'm trying to park the car, and then you have to do something with your hands. Stop. I don't okay. care what you have to say. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah, understand. People are allowed to park in this car, okay. park their cars okay. on the side of the street without your interference. Okay, and then your opinion about what's going on. Okay? okay? Especially when the person you're doing it to are the police. Okay, sir. I don't know where you where you're coming from or where you think you're appropriate in doing that. That doesn't it's not the way it works. The only reason you're not in handcuffs going to jail and getting summonses in the precinct is because I have things to do. That's the only reason that's not happening. Because this isn't important enough for me. You're not important enough. Don't ever do that again. Do you are you a fair? Yes. You're a fair? Yes. And this guy is taking time out of your day for his vehicle and traffic violations. This entitled customer was actually caught stealing, and when she was caught and exposed for this, she decided to flip the store upside down before trying to make her a quick getaway. She was soon humiliated when she realized that the doors were completely locked from the inside, and she couldn't leave until the authorities showed up. Let's have a look. Bye bye. <laughs> Show to see y'all again. <laughs> Ah, you going to jail. I don't give a Call the laws on her. Ah, your going to jail now. Ah, you'll get right when them laws come. <laughs> ah, you can't get out. You can't get out. Bye bye. This Karen's husband actually intentionally drove over a skateboard in an attempt to break it. Obviously, the owners of the skateboard confronted them about it, and that's when this Karen was sent into a total meltdown and started flipping off this group of friends and getting quite aggressive with them as well. This Karen got in their faces, screaming at them and making up all sorts of accusations. Let's have a look. Oh, just let me off next time. Pick up your God. Karen. Yeah, because you're a stupid idiot. No, Karen. You're a loser. You guys. Karen! Like, you guys all look like losers. Karen! Karen! What are you doing right now? Yeah, you guys all look like a bunch of losers. Karen! I'm trying to be polite here. Karen! I haven't said anything. Neither are you. Dude, leave your street. It's gonna get run over. Don't be a flip me off. You're cool. Okay, so this lady had parked her vehicle on the side of the road, and there was not enough room behind her for another car to park. There were plenty of parking spaces just down the road, but this gentleman behind her decided to hit her car in an attempt to budget forward a few inches, which would give him enough room to then park his vehicle. Let's have a look. Currently touching my vehicle. Why is it okay to hit my vehicle to get me to move? How is that okay? There's a whole street. You don't have to park right here. That's not on me. I don't have to move and you don't get to hit me. That's great, but I'm not obligated to move. You don't know why I'm waiting here. Nobody's obligated to do a nice thing. And no one's obligated to hit my car because I won't move out of your way. Are you punishing him for touching your car? He hit my vehicle, sir. That's not me punishing anybody. That's not the point. What's the you don't point? get to play what bumper the, cars to get point? what you want. If, you move up, he can park. That's the point. if he, if I did, he could, but that's not what well, this is. You? you don't get to physically hit my car. So it's punishment. 
so you like, How am I like punishing, punishing anyone? anyone? For touching your car. How am I punishing anyone? Because you hit moving, my vehicle. You're not, lady number you're not moving your he, he did. In what universe is that an acceptable response? You just shove people out of your way when you're waiting in line well, and they don't move? We're waiting for you to move. Why? There's other places why to park. Will, you don't know why I'm parked what here. What will it do if you move your car too far? That's not the point. What is the point? There's other places to park. You do not get to hit my vehicle with your car. We didn't because, get your car. Ma'am, you moved me twice. I have a dash cam. I have a recording back here. I saw you hit my car. I felt my vehicle. Yeah, I'm full. Anything, because you hit my car? Did anything happen to your car? That's not the point. What? In what universe is it acceptable <laughs> to play to bumper cars car. with real vehicles? You have, you know, yes, I'm right, the unreasonable one. You know, I will. Just, Thank you for hitting my car. You know, maybe take some pictures. Frame this is all on camera, spot. just so you know. This, Karen had to wait outside for her items to be ready for collection and she needed something to sit on so she decided to steal a bucket from this hardware store and justified it because she said she would bring it back later. Obviously this wasn't going to fly with the employees but this Karen couldn't comprehend that she can't just steal items and tried to snatch it back from the employees. Let's have a look. Did you just say you're going to call 911? Yeah, yeah I am. Why? I'm call 911. Because I want them to let me out the door and have someone help me with my purchase to the car. So how and I want to sit on the buckets while I wait. And she won't let me have the buckets. And she won't call a manager and she won't call 911. Well, somebody's already calling a manager. Well, why does the, why do the police need to come for that, though? Because she's harassing me. I don't think that she's harassing you. I tried to get the from her because she didn't purchase them and I got to put them back anyway. But she says she don't even want to go all the way down there to go out the door knowing that these doors are locked. I was done at 8 o'clock. And I wanted to be let out that door, but she won't let me go to that door. Tell, now I don't it's know. Is the door locked? But you didn't it's pay locked. for the buckets, right? I'm not leaving the store with them. Let, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. But you, you still don't need to threaten it. people to call the police, though. That's completely uncalled for. Yeah. That's the police telling me that. Now, here are your lovely buckets. Can I get help with my car now? So, you, you didn't put your hands on my associate, though, did you? She put her hands on me. Okay. So we got video for this stuff. Yeah, check it out. She should be fired. I have the whole thing on video if you want to see it. Also, she threatened to call the police on her for no reason. She wouldn't let me walk toward the gate. That's not an emergency. You called 911 for an emergency. If I'm somebody doesn't let you. Ma'am, ma'am, you're being trapped in the store. You're yeah. being trapped. Yeah. It's against the law to lock this gate like that. I'm just trying to make sure everybody's okay. Did you this Karen confronted this family demanding proof that they had the right to be here, which this family wasn't going to show this random lady. This sent this Karen into a total meltdown when she got very confrontational over it and started screaming at this family. A bystander ended up having to intervene when this Karen got so ridiculous and heated over this, which wasn't even any of the Karen's business. That's when the Karen's husband actually got involved as well and started abusing this family too. Let's have a look. When you were Karen's getting mad. No, you don't. No, you don't have to show her nothing. I don't hear that. I'm not doing my job. Every time a car comes Where's in. Where's your wristband? Where, where's your sticker on your car? You want to walk to my car? Come yes. on, honey. Yes. Come on. Oh. Can you videotape yes. this? Yeah, you have, absolutely. I got no problems throwing, showing money of this. You can send the vi video to Oh, I don't care. Monday. I don't care. I don't care what you send have to say. To Dave August no, no, don't care. Don't care. To We're just going to go check seat. We're going to go look at her sticker. Bob Hammond. You can Are you just saying names at this point? You can send it to every board member, okay? I don't care. I have the right to ask. Uh-huh. So why are you harassing That's people about it? I did not have a guest pass. It has one now. No problem. Did you so, have a wristband? So, to reiterate, do you have your sticker? To you, I'm not talking to him. Lady harassing people, other, I'm not other people. Harassing. 
Okay, so this gentleman had caused a car accident and it was completely his fault, only he didn't see it that way. For this reason, he refused to hand over his insurance information as he tried to justify why he crashed into this other person's vehicle. The victim remained calm and tried to peacefully get through this issue, but this male Karen was anything but polite about the situation. Let's have a look. Sir, look what you did in my car. Oh, look what you did to me. You, so sir, you weren't I looking. I this to myself. You didn't look, sir. I was looking. Can you please calm down? You didn't look, sir. What? I was looking. I, I was, was waiting for this woman and I was turning in this lane. You must have come in this lane. I didn't go in that Can lane. please have your insurance card? Let me see your insurance card. Yeah, okay, after I see your card. Are you going to see mine? I'm totally legit. You went into me. Please I was being patient. Calm the please calm down. I am calm, but you hit me. Okay, let me see your insurance card. Well, let me see your insurance card. Well, let me see your ID. You hit me. No, I didn't go you, in that sir, lane, dude. Sir, you hit me. Boom! How the f did I hit you if I'm in this lane? It was a green. Lane. It was a green arrow. I dude, had a protected turn. No. Yes. Did sir, you not see this? I was waiting for that woman to cross, and it just turned. It did not go red. It was green for me. I had a protected green arrow. Dude, I was waiting for her. What are you gonna do? You gonna hit me? No, you're the one threatening me. I am not threatening you. You're the one that's you. getting angry, and I'm trying to be calm I'm, and handle this out. I didn't do anything wrong. So we wrong. can go on our way. Because you hit me. You hit me, sir. Bull I'm in this lane. Can you're not please? supposed to make a turn. Okay, can I see? Can I see your driver's license? Do you admit you were in this lane? I'm not admitting anything. You were. There you go. Got you. No, you're the one that's. Okay, so this landlady tried to evict this tenant illegally by showing up with power drills and trying to intimidate him out of her property. The problem here though is that this tenant has rights and it's also illegal for her to show up without notice and try to intimidate him out of the building. Let's have a look. Ma'am, we have to leave my house, ma'am, please. You can call. Ma'am, I'm asking you to please leave my house, ma'am, please. I can have the right. Ma'am, I do not feel safe and I'm asking you to please leave my house safe. at this current... Ma'am, at this current moment under Louisiana law, oh, you think I'm playing, huh? Under Louisiana law, ma'am, I'm asking you to please leave my house. I'm not playing. That's a Western right warning. Entry. That is the first warning. The I second warning, right ma'am, I'm finna entry. go into my home and I'm finna shut my door. I have a right of entry. I'm finna go into my home and I'm finna shut my door. Right I'm on, live. I'm finna go in my home and shut my door. Right of entry. On guard. Use it. If I shut my door and I think someone is attempting to break into my home with a drill. I'm right here. I will let, hey. I'm right here. Hey. You see, you see him, huh? I'm you see him, huh? Now I'm finna shut my door, y'all. Y'all see this, right? Y'all see this? I'm finna shut the door. Now when I come, when I come back out the door, now when I come back out the door, listen, I'm finna shut my door. When I come back out the door, now y'all see this? I have this right for, of entry. Mr. Police Officer, this is for you for when you pull Read up. Because police. she's finna call you in five seconds when I grab this. She's finna grab you. But listen. But listen, I'll I'm finna go. I'm, no, no. Not you. Not you. Not you at all. I'm finna grab nothing for you. You finna wanna leave my house in a second before I grab what I grab. Please Get the help off my door. I'm not leaving. Leave. Now. Leave because I do not feel safe. You finna leave. You gotta leave. You're not finna uh, take my door off. You cannot no, do it. What? Man, you cannot do that. Get smell my house. You can smell it. Man, ma'am, you gotta leave. You cannot take nobody's door off their frame. That is illegal. Is you crazy? No, it's not. Is you crazy? Yes, ma'am. I need some a unit out. Yeah, you need one. You really need this gentleman found himself in an argument with this Karen and things escalated quickly when this Karen got very confrontational with him and even got in his face. This Karen was a very offensive person and was saying some very offensive things towards him before he started recording to expose her. That's when this Karen had a total meltdown at being recorded and decided to call the authorities on him stating that it's illegal to take her photo. Let's have a look. The cops. No, no, stay right here. Don't go nowhere. No, no, no I'm not going. I'm, I'm calling the scared. cops. I don't care. What, you don't take pictures of nobody. That's against the law. That's right. against the law. What's you the Mexicans law? are going to learn your lesson. Keep it up. Keep it up. What are you saying Keep about it up. my paper? My, You're my a Mexican. Writing? You're illegal. And that's against the law. Oh, yeah? I'm oh, here yeah? at Bank of America. A gentleman here, he's recording me and my kids. I don't know if he's illegal. I don't know if he don't speak English. But this I is against the English. law. And I'm telling him. Bank of America here in South Norwalk, where the Chase Bank is and the movie theater. And don't go nowhere. Stay right here, sir. Of course. Yeah, his plate number is A. Yeah, I just came out. And four. And he's still recording me. I don't know what's wrong with this person, but that's not normal. It's a black SV Nissan. It's a SUV. <clears throat> My name is Jessica. I am. He's Hispanic and I don't think he speaks English. I do. Oh, you do? Good. 
So if you spoke English, you would know what you're doing is against the law, sir. Why you, yes, why sir. you come and to offend me? Oh, don't speak. This crazy Karen came into this little Caesars and was stating that they were not taking care of the environment and didn't agree with how they made their pizzas. She then had a total meltdown at them stuffing her recording down their face and accusing them of all sorts of things even though they don't own the store and choose how the products are made or what equipment is used, they simply follow the rules. Let's have a look. We have one Mother Earth, right? We have one Mother Earth, you get it, right? One Mother Earth, take care of it. I'm sorry, did I sell the Respect it the way it is. Deserves. I'm sorry. Have a good night. I'm gonna send this to your manager. You're I'll, we'll, we'll, I'll get him. And yeah, don't worry. Get your manager. Let's go. Hey, Justin. Justin, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Justin, let's go. I don't care if I'm a kid. Let's go. I'm sorry to bother you, Justin. Your employees don't care about the environment. I didn't throw this out. Don't if worry. I'm recording. I'm recording this whole. Okay, so this Karen was downstairs and she was demanding some toilet paper from this hotel that she was staying at. But while this Karen was at it, this Karen decided that she wanted to give the employee a hard time because due to the virus at the moment, this hotel does not offer everyday cleaning services for a long duration stays. But this Karen was demanding for daily cleaning services. Let's see how that goes for her. I, we can understand that you cannot deal with us. It's obvious that you don't have the capacity. Okay? <laughs> okay. You have, can, you, can you call somebody? Um, I will not call my manager on her day off. That's what managers are for, because you don't have management authority. Okay. But I have the have authority to stand authority. here and listen to what you're saying, so... Like, I don't know what you want from me. I'm not going to give you a refund because you still stayed here, so... We're not staying here, we're telling you. We're not staying in the darn room. Only a dirty person will stay in a nasty bed that wasn't without toilet paper i can give you toilet are paper you, are but... you really that low breed are you really that low that you will stay I in already explain that we don't do daily servicing because of covid if you can't accept that that's too bad i don't know what you want me to do because i can't do nothing you don't about even it put toilet paper in the rooms and, uh, i can give you toilet paper but i but can't no, do it's anything it's, else it's not my job for me to put, come and pick it up it's your job the hotel's job no okay? my job is to be front desk and listen to you complain at me so i'm doing my job unbelievable no, it's very okay. believable. No, it's not believable. It is a shame. I have never in my entire life, you know, comfort in. Okay, so this person was trying to see a doctor and for some reason he had his phone confiscated. I assume that this gentleman was not following the same rules as everybody else inside of the waiting room and this was the employee's way of trying to get him to leave by taking his property. The gentleman was not happy about this and started recording her as she tried to call the police and just get him to leave the premise, which he wasn't going to do. Let's have a look. Your phone back, please. You do not have the right to have my phone with you. That's our property. I'm asking for it back. Now you're violating our rights. That's our property that you're having a hold of. Give me the phone back. You know, you don't have the right to do that. This is actually technically theft under $5,000. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I'm taking a photo. Okay. I have the right to. Okay. Yeah, I have the right to. Okay. I have the right to record okay. everything that's happening right now. Okay. And you do not have the right to have a property. No, What's your problem? And ask you for, take a seat for what, though, I said? Up. I don't say I'm not going to waste my doctor? time. Yes or no? Give my phone back right now. Do you want to see a doctor? Yes or Give no? Me the I don't want to see the doctor today with you guys. No, I don't. No. I don't. Welcome. Give me the phone then. When you go... I, I will give you your phone. No, you give me the phone, then we leave. How can we leave without the phone? And the door. Oh, whoa, you're attacking me. <laughs> oh, that's oh, assault. Oh. That is assault. Oh, look. So this lady just waved her hand at me. 
Okay, so this couple were walking their dog in the city and they didn't have a leash on it. Whether or not they are in the wrong for this, what this Karen does next is inexcusable. This Karen started belittling this couple before attempting to call the dog over on this main road in an attempt to get the dog hit by a car. Let's see what happens next. Have you never heard of a leash in the city? Uh, really? Really? Okay, we'll wait for the police to clear it up. Yeah, go call them. Karen, call please, call Karen, them. call them. Karen, get your phone now and call the police. I'm just waiting for him to come by. And which country should I go back to, Karen? Huh? Say it. Now you, now you cat got your oh, tongue? Cat got my tongue? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Edit it out. Go ahead, edit. Edit what out? Come on, puppy! Hold on, no. Come on! Come on. Karen, white entitlement was 2020. All right. This difficult neighbor was not happy with the noise levels coming from the downstairs apartment. She then banged on their door looking for a confrontation and was anything but polite about the situation. She demanded that they shut their kid up immediately and got extremely heated towards not just the owners of the home, but also their children. This Karen refused to speak to them civilly and they actually had to get the on-site manager over to try and defuse the situation. Let's have a look. What do I mean? Okay, maybe it's just the kids. Maybe it's just the kids. What? what? Running around. But when you're taking when you're taking a, a, a broom and banging it purposely on somebody's roof, that's rude. First off, Excuse she me? The no, that was Okay, but thing. until she hears the noise. Is my kids not allowed to have any? You know, you can't don't... make a noise complaint. Okay, but you, you but but you know what though? You can you can make them no. slow down the a bit. The whole approach you brought and to this door isn't do acceptable. This. Hello, admin. I have a lovely lady standing in front of me. Who yeah. Is yelling at me at this moment in time. Because she keeps banging on There's the ceiling. There's a three-year-old in front I of you. I didn't swear, did I? I don't care. I just said you guys keep banging your voice on her and ceiling. Speak civilly. Okay. Why do Why you guys you bang on her ceiling? We're not banging on her ceiling, madam. I got there, and within 10 minutes, somebody was taking something and banging her ceiling. Because she I plays just got music? Home. I just got home not even that long ago. We just finished sitting down and having dinner. And you're recording me now? Absolutely. Close the door. Yeah. Okay, so this gentleman was trying to check out at this grocery store and upon checkout he was actually denied service and asked to leave the premise. The reason being is that apparently he was banned from the store which he doesn't agree with and believes that there must be some mix up as he hasn't done anything wrong. The lady then admits that she hasn't actually met this gentleman before but was told beforehand that he was banned from the store and to not serve him. Let's have a look. You're not allowed in here. Do not. Serve you. Oh, hey, how you doing honest. today? Hey, I just came in. I got I a food stamp. Look, Dorian. Okay, it don't you, matter. They told me that. All right. The cops was here. here. Even when you called the cops, the cops here. told you, you're not allowed in here. Out. I'm just standing here. I'm not doing anything. I don't. I, that's not my problem. I was told to that do. you're not allowed in here. Call the cops. The cops are ready to do it. Out. Now. I'm a loyal customer. I don't Can know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I, I have not done anything to you. I do not know you. I don't okay. care if you know so, me or not. I, was I haven't told done anything to you. I haven't done now anything to nobody. I don't know what happened. So, All I know is they told us that you're not allowed. I don't me. know where that came from. I don't see no writing. I have not done anything. I don't know who she is or why she she's doing this. She didn't manager. I don't know why. But I can't do it. No. I don't know why. Look, I'm just going to record this and put you on blast cause this, and call corporate. That's what I'm going to do. Well, I don't know where you heard that from. Uh, do you have a reason why? There's no reason why. My my head boss told me you're not allowed to. This this the devil, right, y'all?
This gentleman was in the supermarket with his daughter when he noticed that a random person was actually taking pictures of them. He came over and confronted them only for this random male Karen to run away and try to leave the store. He was then exposed for taking pictures of them and confronted for it, which he justified by saying that these two were not following the store rules and he wanted to expose them for it. So let's have a look. Hey guy, hey guy, tell me why you were taking pictures of me and my daughter. Excuse me. Why were you taking pictures of me and my daughter? I want to know. Please tell me. Just tell me and I'll leave you alone. So I can stay alive. Tell me and I'll leave you alone. Why were you taking pictures of my daughter? Tell me with your six masks. Can you just tell me? So I can stay alive, please. So you can stay alive? That's why you're taking pictures of my daughter? Can you please? He was taking pictures of me and my daughter. Can I no, because you, you, were, you felt brave taking pictures, but now you want to run. Tell me. Yeah, you look scared now, huh? Yeah, I yeah, you're real brave now, aren't you? No, I'm... Oh, you're real brave with your 90 masks okay. on. Sorry about that. Here he is, everybody. Here is the man that took a picture of my daughter because he said he was scared. So you think it's okay to take pictures of my little girl? You think that's acceptable not. behavior, sir? Sir, leave me alone, please. You don't, you don't have to worry. I'm not going to do anything I'm stupid. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. I yes, yes. That's thank you. Sure. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this male Karen had just left a food store when he had been caught shoplifting by an employee. Now the employee had followed him out and demanded to see what was inside of his backpack, which this male Karen obviously wasn't going to let him see. That's where this employee snatched his backpack and dropped all of his items across the floor, exposing and humiliating this thief for stealing a bunch of meats, chocolates, and snacks. Let's have a look. Okay, so this lady had purchased some items and left the store. On her way out of the store, she noticed that an employee was actually following her and also taking pictures. This customer is really confused and asks the employee what she is doing, and apparently this employee accused her of stealing. This employee believes she had put an item up on the counter and stolen it. Let's have a look. Back over there, I didn't steal. It's little. it's not in my pocket. Go look at the video. I didn't take anything. I didn't take it. Go check your videos. I didn't steal from me. Go look at the counter. I left it there. Go look at your video. There's nothing there. Where did you leave it on the counter? I left it on literally where right in front of where she gave it to me. Okay, can you apologize for accusing me of stealing? Because I didn't steal. I did not steal from you. I didn't accuse you of that. I never said you stole anything, but I said it's not on the counter. Okay, well, I don't have it. I told you I don't have it. I don't appreciate you coming out here and taking pictures of me. I can come out here and do whatever I want. Okay, great. Okay. So can I, but I'm not right. stealing from you. All right. I didn't, didn't take it. I never said that you were. I would like for you to go check your cameras. I don't want to go check my cameras. Product that came this lady just had her entire bathroom remodeled and as it was finished, she decided she wasn't going to pay for it. The contractor was obviously very upset by this and tried everything to get his money, but this Karen just wasn't going to budge. And instead of just taking it to court and suing her for the money, he decided to come in and demolish everything he put in while this Karen watched begging him to stop. Let's have a look. No, you don't. I do understand. This is a lot of work. A lot of work. We put 
weeks into this. Thousands of dollars into this. I do understand. Sir, please stop. Please stop. Is somebody going to pay me? Sir, I'm just asking you to stop. It's not your house to destroy. It is my property. This is my property. I have receipts for everything. Yes, ma'am. I do understand that you... So, I need to ask you a question because Leanne has told me that you walked in the house and you're telling me that you were invited in? Let me tell you something. No contractor in the state of Colorado will fix that when they found out I took it back because you refused to pay. This road rage incident started in this parking lot disagreement when this gentleman got out of his vehicle to confront the other driver. Things escalated quickly when he got straight into his face, hurling all sorts of insults at him and tried to fight him immediately. Things escalated quickly as they got face to face and tensions rose as the gentleman tried to defuse the situation but that wasn't going to happen for this other gentleman. Let's have a look. What? What's up? Gonna hit me? What's up? Go you ahead, scared? Me. You scared? Nice. That's why you don't face. act crazy. John's long nose Sean, little little, little what's up what's up All right, do so something do something gonna hit me remember you said you're gonna get out your car and it's gonna be the worst day of my life yeah it will because look you why like little, right? oh my god oh my god why don't you guys go get more eyes wild day and I'm ready to let it out ready. Do, you, do you eat her ready. with those ready. braces ready no, you're not ready. You just got back in the car. If you want to hit me, go ahead. You're the one who said you wanted to hit me and then got out your car. What you want to do, bro? You're the one who followed me throughout the whole parking lot, stopped behind me, said you want to fight me, didn't cut you off. Yeah, because you couldn't wait five seconds at a light. Yeah, because then you stopped at the light on purpose. When I could have smacked him in the back of yours. Yeah, and then you would have had... All right. Okay, so this gentleman was driving his Korea truck when he went through an intersection and the person in front of him didn't indicate correctly. The problem is though, the gentleman in front of him thought he did everything correctly, so he stopped his vehicle and confronted this employee. He took his anger out of this employee and started yelling and screaming at him. Let's have a look. Toll. Yes, toll on the DHL truck, US dot. Send it to your boss. I'm sure they'll agree. Send it to your boss. You were wrong. Who do you work for? You were I work for myself. You, you, were, you, were, you, were, you were you were rolling through. You lose your job today. You were rolling through a stop parked. sign. You do deliveries, right? You're illegally parked, so keep on recording. I might call DHL. And get you you were rolling through a stop sign, so I was gonna let you go. Uh, you were you were rolling through a stop sign, so I let you so I. Intersection. Is there a stop sign here for you? You're rolling through the stop sign. Stop sign here for you. Is there a stop sign here for this kid? He's not gonna win. You're not gonna win, kid. Is there a stop sign? So why are you stopping in a one-way? You, you're rolling through the stop sign, so I, I was going to let you go. You're about to lose your job, kid. Yeah, they're really going to fire me when you're using that why kind not? of language. Why not? Yeah, why not? they're really... When you're why this not? upset over over something this simple... Check this out. Yeah. Check this out, boss. What? You got the right one. Why not? Tatra Signy? You know what Tatra Signy is? Who's that? You don't even know where you at. I got something for you. Okay, so this Karen was asked to follow the rules of this restaurant several times and refused to comply. By the time she had followed the rules, it was too little too late and she was denied service. This Karen had already paid for her food, but she was offered a refund. But as this Karen was too busy abusing and belittling the employees, she forgot to just take her money and leave or go someplace else. Let's have a look. What's he gonna do though? Well, the police Ain't are coming. Video you wanna keep what going? that video do? Neither what that video, video do? What that video do? What that video yeah. do though? I give you your money back. What do that video do? I, I pay for my food. I gave Not you your money, you back. money back. I already gave you your money back. As you can see right here. Girl, you so much stupid money with your little scare. Okay, well you're gonna leave or the police gonna make you leave. Okay, then they're coming. I just can't. I'm gonna tell them how to get to make sure you get fired. That's great. You do that. You broke bond. Both of you need to step outside until you have a mask on, okay? Girl, I got my mask on. I'm not talking to you. She want to buy the other people now. She's rude. Everybody in there. 
She rolled his I'll give you a minute. She rolled his head. Crazy shit about it. She's talking about some weed to stand outside. Because we got to order in food. But everybody in it is standing in it. This Karen Opie documentary was filmed in 2019. Yeah, she was in the car. 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 She was in Hey, here's your Shut the f up. Both little. don't even go between your legs. Karen! Because I tried to apologize. I tried to smile. I didn't even get to hear an apology. I stepped out to look at the car and he started yelling. I stepped out the car and he started yelling. I stepped out the car. I didn't even get to say anything. I stepped out the car and said, Do y'all speak English? Because you're not answering me. You have to But why would you ask? But why would you ask that? You ask asking that because she's tan skinned? No, right? no. See, now right. y'all throwing it out of context. Right. I asked y'all because you kept ignoring me, mother. Uh -huh. When I see you say that I'm sorry and I okay. didn't mean to, now you want to ignore me. Now you want to ignore she, me. She said, said that because she actually spoke. Like she was like, asked if you spoke uh, don't English. Nobody give up about you. Okay, so this Karen was inside of her drive thru and she wasn't happy with her tender meal order, so she decided to get out of her car, hold the entire line up so that she could scream and abuse at the staff member who took her order. This Karen then even told them to come outside so that she could get into a fight with them and thought that this was appropriate behavior because her meal was mixed up. Let's have a look. Get back to the This male Karen was walking around this supermarket abusing random people when a bystander intervened. The bystander suggested that he shouldn't talk to people he doesn't know, let alone abuse them, and that was enough to send this male Karen into a total meltdown when he got confrontational with the recordee. This male Karen became extremely aggressive when he got confrontational with the recordee and started hurling all sorts of abuse towards him. Let's have a look. How's that? How's that? How's that? Coming you breathe, me, okay? Why are you coming don't tell me what man? the do. How's that, pal? I didn't tell you what you to did. You did. You said don't talk to people who you don't know. I'll talk to whoever I want to know. Never mind. How's that, pal? Never mind. I did tell him not to talk to That's you. right. So use your head if you know how. Understood. Okay, you little pimply little. Hey, you guys. Uh, if you guys cannot do this in the store. That sounds good to me. Put something to leave. Uh, I'm checking out, sir. Yeah, Check out. Ring out. If you guys, if you could take okay. six You're feet. not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. Yeah. Are you? Absolutely. You're going to get arrested for this? Arrested for doing what? Just like a pimple on the left. Somebody says something and you don't like Wait, it. Sir. And you don't like it, right? Is that what it is? If you you little pimp. Yelling, Can you hold you the camera while I check? I'll leave the store. I'm okay? listening. Where you bleed, pal. Right where you breathe. <laughs> Go for it for and suck right here. Have a good day, sir. Okay, so this lady was returning some items she had purchased when she met a very difficult employee who refused to process her return. Things got ugly quickly, and this employee even states that the customer was only giving her a hard time because of the color of her skin. Let's have a look. What did I say to harass you? You hate white people, okay? Because you watch CNN said, all day long. Did I say that I hate white yeah, people? Yeah, you hate white people because I could see it in your wow. face you were causing trouble. You're wow. so desperate to return. I should not even return these. This is against store policy. No, it's not. It is. It's not. I just bought you those products last week. No, you little person, I know you are. Just wow. you're coming this is, in here, you're this having is a how, bad day. Wow. This is how broke. people, this Come is how on. they talk to customers does in the Cosmo Prof of uh, King of Pressure. I cannot wait to share this. Go ahead. Do you think I care? 
and I will be showing your manager as well. Go ahead. I sure will. I sure will. God bless you. You need prayer. You ever insult my faith again by insulting me and telling me You're not acting like a me, Christian I woman. Prayer. I don't know what your faith I is. I said my prayer. But I serve God, I and this is not the way that God's people treat other people. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give you 20 bucks, I want you out of my store. These neighbors got into a huge dispute between each other because apparently they had barking dogs, but it wasn't this Karen's fault because his dog was setting her dog off. This Karen was also accusing this gentleman of recording her in her home, which I don't think is true because he has been with his girlfriend this entire time, and I'm sure she wouldn't be too happy about that if he was. Have a look. You have no rights. You have no rights to record me at my house and take pictures of my car. If so, it's visible from public, listen. it can be recorded. Yeah, it can be. But you know what else? You don't have to be a when you're on somebody else's private property. If you want your girlfriend to I was on your job, private property? You were sitting right there in front of my house all day long. Is that you your were, private property? You, and you were looking in my window. So Is you know that? You want your girlfriend to continue to have a job here? Keep acting like or change your okay. attitude. It's all no, on camera. It, and it can be. Change your attitude i haven't done anything i haven't done anything you are, wrong you are right now recording me when you have no right to you're being a bag Look at and this. you're docking me you wow. come to my house after when you're not even supposed to be here and coming here and recording people what am i supposed to be here you don't live here <laughs> you don't work here you shouldn't be here your girlfriend's at work she can't get her job done when all she's doing is sitting here watching you fondle yourself day are you on megan's <laughs> creep what's your name this lady found herself in a dispute with the gentleman parked next to her and in a fit of rage decided to stand behind his vehicle, blocking him in and refusing to move so he couldn't leave the premise. This entitled Karen refused to acknowledge anyone and just sat there looking down on her phone the whole time, refusing to reply or speak to anybody to resolve this situation. Let's have a look. You are dressed like you are very pepper. You very, you, you dress very pepper triable right now. <laughs> I let that man leave, man. You got that man blocked in over there. Look, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Ma'am, you have more important things to worry about. Like, ma'am, you have more important things to worry about. You have to get you a ma'am. You have to go get you a You have no ma'am. You got to go get you You out here being a You don't even have a You got to get you a you hear me? Ma'am, ma'am, I know what they said. You go on Amazon right now, they got for $27. You get to a home, you just put it. Okay, so this gentleman is an Uber Eats driver, and when he delivered the food, apparently something was wrong, and there were items missing, and the customers blamed the driver. The driver stated that there's nothing he can do about it, and they would need to contact support for compensation, when the customers completely snapped and grabbed his bicycle, preventing him from being able to leave, and then demanded that the Uber driver give them money. Let's have a look. Can you get your camera out of my face? No. Can it, or you screwed up our order, but you're, you're not happens. doing anything about it. Contact support. I've told you this. I know, but we've tried. It connects us to you, and you you're not doing well, anything. Well, you go about it. with your no. money then. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Sixty-seven dollars that you've wasted, and you're putting it on us. And it will be refunded to you. So can you sort it out? No, can he, no, he guarantee that? No. I'm, can he guarantee that? No, I'm can, asking you a question. Can you? Uh, like I said, you Uber Uber support will answer all your questions. Uh, it's not Uber's <laughs> fault. It's that. yours. Do you guarantee that? Go Personally, for Uber support. I can't say anything. I, I'm leaving. But where's our food? You, like I said, contact Uber food? support. Where's our food? Where's our food? I'm calling the cops. Alright. This entitled Karen was holding up this line at this Taco Bell so that he could abuse the employees and he was dealt with by some instant karma. That's when the employees gave it back to him, which this entitled customer was not expecting as he was sitting there berating this employee for quite some time and then had to take the same abuse back, leaving him humiliated in front of everybody. Let's have a look. Huh? She's allergic. She's got to train. I mean, when she has everything around the train, she's got to check. No, nobody asked if everything was right on the screen. I ordered chicken tacos, and I double-checked when I got to the window. 
No, but I'm not going to calm down. You don't understand. You don't. I do. I do. You don't understand how serious this is. You don't understand that. You don't understand that. I'm going to be okay. Huh? I didn't. I didn't ask you to come over here. I just asked for my manager. I'm being very rude. Mother, come on, come on. No, come on. I need you to go to the back. You can't say things like that. You didn't come over to help me out, buddy. Okay, so a lot of people were together at this beach watching the sunset when somebody came over it in their car and decided to park in between everybody. She continued running her car because she wanted the air conditioning on, which obviously made a lot of noise and blew a lot of fumes at the people. Somebody decided to come over and confront her for this and tell her to turn the car off, which really triggered this lady when she refused to do so. Let's have a look. Me goes to the beach to see sunset. I'm not gonna leave. Random man keeps knocking on my window for five minutes. So this random dude is just doing that for no reason. This is the weirdest. I don't have to turn my car off. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. You're gassing everybody out. You're I'm done with you anyway. I don't have to turn off my car. You're gassing everybody I don't have to out. turn off my car. Selfish How am I selfish? I have my child in my car. I can't I turn care. off my car. I need my AC because I have a baby in my car. Yes, it is. Okay, so this Karen was outside of a convenience store and she found herself in an argument with a group of friends. The argument escalated quickly when she threw out some personal insults and they decided to throw some back. That's when this Karen got confrontational with them and realized that she was being recorded, which made her double down when she was sent into a total meltdown. This Karen ended up getting in their faces and threatening them. Let's have a look. Recorded. Why are you recording me? I don't know Stay you. I don't know you. You do Come not on. have permission Come to on. record me. Come on. Come on. Well, I'm doing it. Oh, you're doing it. You're yeah. doing it. I am scared. See when the f y'all pull up with some to see what the f y'all do then. Some what? Some I cast me out. Are you gonna cast me outside? You're gonna see what the N word means in a couple of five minutes. Are you gonna I didn't say nothing to y'all. I didn't say nothing to y'all. Why do you have a dollar bill in your bra? Y'all can get the steppy. Why is there a dollar bill in your top? A dollar bill? Yeah. You need it? You that broke. You had to walk to the store to get a dollar bill off me? You that broke? You dollar bill? I'm Take your little trip right You don't know nothing about black. Come on. Why are you right now. Why you on her name? Come on. Why are you like this? Back up. 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 This Karen wasn't following the same rules as everybody else on this airline. For this reason, he was told repeatedly to follow the rules, otherwise he would be removed. The male Karen decided to comply, but only if he got to ravage like a savage dog and create a scene in front of everybody. Let's have a look. America. 
Okay, so this lady was caught red-handed stealing somebody's pickup. This lady was confronted for it, and the thing was though, she could have got away had she figured out how to release the parking brake. This lady tried for minutes to release the parking brake and couldn't do it until a group of bystanders crowded her and forced her to get out of the pickup truck. So let's have a look. She tried to steal a truck at my work, but could not figure out the parking brake. What a fail. Call the cops. Knew it. Saw you over there. <clears throat> Should have known how to drive. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, I saw you. Oh, I see her over there. So you guys are the one that made it to my car. Go. This male Karen is inside of a smoothie store and apparently they messed up an order and put peanuts in the smoothie, which his child was allergic to. This male Karen stampeded into the store, abusing just about everybody, demanding to speak to the person who made the smoothie so that he could abuse them. When he couldn't find out who made the smoothie, he started abusing everybody and getting in their faces. Let's have a look. Please don't yell at us. Yeah. Video TV. You have no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't we don't know me. who made it. So. You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we obviously don't know. Stupid ignorant high school kids. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the. Bye. Okay, you can you call stop corporate stop. whatever you want. Goodbye. John, stop. John. No, I don't care. Give it to me right now. Yeah. What? Oh, I'm calling the police. Okay, so this Karen was spotted stealing political signs from people's yards, which is obviously illegal as it's their signs on their property. So this Karen had to trespass and take their property in order to steal it. This Karen was caught and exposed red-handed when she tried to profusely apologize and hide her license plates. She ended up having to give that up when she realized that she couldn't hide her license plates and also leave the scene at the same time and tried to backpedal her way out of her wrongdoing. Let's have a look. We're coming in our neighborhood, pulling our signs. You come in our neighborhood pulling off our signs. Please don't leave. Do not touch my and car. And then she have. Do not touch my car. And then she have her tag. Then she have her tag please covered don't up. Don't touch my car. Then she have her tag Sir, covered I'm up. I'm asking you to please let me go. Please let me go. I need some help. Sir, I'm really sorry. You're sorry for what? I did leave the. I did leave the tag. I did leave it. Can you go put it back? Yes, I will. Can you go put it back? I promise I will. Cause I'm getting ready to call the police. I'll go put it back. You're from Hillsborough County yes. and you're coming in here destroying the neighborhood I that I grew up it. in. You're coming in here and you're destructing the neighborhood that I grew up it said, in. It said flush Trump. That's freedom it, of street. It, it said flush the turd. That's freedom it, of speech. It's disrespecting the current president. That's sir. freedom. Okay, so this Karen was inside of this convenience store and she was being very difficult towards this employee. This Karen became very belligerent and also started abusing this employee before asking this gentleman what country he's from when he was quite literally from America just like this Karen. This employee doesn't take this lightly though and actually calls this Karen out before putting her in her place. Let's have a look. Yes. Okay, so what do you say? You heard me. You asked, I asked you what country you're from. That says exactly what it says. What did you say? It doesn't say that. Did you say what country I'm from? Yeah. I said that you can't understand that English written right up there. Miss, I have lived in America just like you did. Now get out my store. Boo. Get out my store. I'll just be Problem. Oh, yeah? Boo. Like, I 
it's a dollar twenty cents. Boo! You're white trash. White trash. White trash. This neighbor from hell came over to this other person's home because she accused their dog of attacking hers. She then went on to make some extremely offensive remarks towards them before having a total meltdown when she found out that she was being recorded. This Karen then doubled down by stating that she has top secret clearance for the government. So let's have a look. The dog, the dog attacked my dog. The dog's not even outside, ma'am. He was outside. He was in front of her. He didn't attack. He didn't attack the dog. She's I, she, I have it on camera. You know what? What? You guys are acting like black people, and you should. You should act like black people. Are we what? You're acting like Karen. I was raised in Oklahoma. Wait, wait. People. Can you repeat that one more time? We're acting like what? I was raised in Oklahoma City, where there were tons of black people. But we're acting like what? You're acting like people that aren't normal. Uh, okay. This will you're be real nice like when you're normal. on the news, yep. when you're on social media, when pe get. Get off property. our property. Get off get our property. property. I have a top secret clearance. You I know don't what? give a Get the property. Go back in the house. Go back in the house. Since we're acting like black people. Right? We're acting like black people, and that's well, not normal. people don't act like you do. How are we this gentleman was having a total meltdown on this airline when he wasn't following the same rules as everybody else. Things had escalated quickly when he flipped the switch and lost his temper at just about everybody and was incredibly abusive as well. That's when he noticed he was being recorded and focused his attention on the recordee and inevitably was removed from the flight. Let's have a look. Talking to me like that, Take me off. I don't give a I didn't even want to go to Cali. 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 Talking to, I will find your name, date of birth, and address. I will know your social security number before I get off this plane. On my daughter, on that same baby that you see me on the on the phone with. What? What? So what the? Yo, yo, cuss. What the? What the? What's the plan? What they gonna do to you before? I, what's the law gonna do? Yo, mind your business. Mind your business. Cause I will break your neck. Yo, I'm, let me just explain something. Don't do it. Let me explain something. No need. No need. What they gonna do to you before? It's no need, huh? You told me one thing. I told you I'm gonna do wrong. I'll leave it alone. You leave it alone. Talking to. There's no need, huh? Yo, you about to go? This is two hours late, man. Trying to leave, bro. Shit, two hours and I'm sitting here waiting. Two hours okay, so this father noticed that somebody in the distance was actually taking photos of his two year old daughter. Now, when he came over to the man to confront him for what he was doing, he admitted that he was taking pictures of his daughter, but stated that there was no wrongdoing and it wasn't illegal. The father was obviously upset by this response, and that made the photographer run away into a security guard who then made him delete the photos. Let's have a look. Why do you want the picture of my two year old kid? Why don't you stay away from me? That doesn't answer my question. Why don't you stay away from me? Why don't you? Why do you hey, want a yeah, picture of my? Everything okay? So he, this, this guy's assault. Oh, hold on. Yeah, face, yeah. Face, 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 face. Yes, face. So he took a picture of my two-year-old daughter and took several pictures and then okay. stood over here scrolling. And I wanted to know why he took pictures of my two-year-old daughter. Okay. Any reason for that, sir? Just she's a cute kid. Okay. Well, you understand. Okay, for, so you understand what his concern was, right, correct? Actually, I don't. Okay, okay. My, hey, uh, just so it's clear, for, for my now, concern is that I would do the exact same thing that you that did. You understand? That might be true. Okay. Yeah, okay. you're in the same camp as a Well, appreciate you deleting it. This young man was awoken during his sleep to several officers surrounding his home. They were looking for his brother and demanded information from him that he didn't have to give them. These officers were shocked when this young man knew his law and didn't give the officers the information they were looking for. Let's have a look. What's going on? Have a seat. Who else is in there? Nobody. You can't come in there. That's fine. Here's the deal. You obstructed your, your brother who is on a felony right now. Okay, you obstructed it. You can go to jail for that. Do you understand that? How? You knew because he was you in knew here. He was in no, here. I didn't. Yeah, you know, when you knocked on the door, I had just woke up. You knew Why do you think you know something? You knew he was in here. No, I did not. Yes, you did. How you gonna tell me what I know? Here's the How you gonna tell me what I know? Answer that question first. I, I, I'm waiting. Come on. Okay. I had just woke up. Exactly. Here's you can't, you can't do nothing, bro. You ain't got a warrant. You can't. You can't do nothing. Hey, hey, bro. All right. Hey, bro. First of all, don't be disrespectful. I want to be your bro. Do something. I don't. What? Where's your idea? What do you mean, idea? I'm 13. You're 13? Where's yes. your mom at? I don't know. 
Her boyfriend yeah. house. We'll call your mom up real quick. This lady was using the ATM when it ate her card and didn't give it back. She was obviously trying to fix the issue so she didn't leave the ATM area and that's when this Karen tried to use the ATM next, demanded that she hurry it up and move along. This Karen refused to wait for her to get her card back, making her one of the most entitled people I've ever seen. Let's have a look. I'm serious, is there a problem with the machine? I'm yes, I already said that. There's a problem with the machine, it's not me. Well? Well? Go somewhere else. It has my card, lady. It has all of my money in it. Goodbye. Have a wonderful day. It's not my problem. It's your problem. You're the one screaming Maybe at me for. Card is no good. You don't have any money in there. It's the machine. It's have a wonderful day, Karen. Love you. I love you. Oh. Now I'm sitting here. Okay, so this lady was being a terrible customer and she was abusing the manager. That's when the higher up overheard the conversation and banned her from the store. It was then that she tried to backpedal and apologize, denying that she was being abusive or anything in that nature, which was too little too late as she was told to leave the store. Let's have a look. Okay. Are you You're the not manager? Gonna, yes, Are I you, am. Are you gonna come out? And I'll no, talk I can to you? stand right here. Okay, then call the police because I was gonna talk. Ma'am, step out. Okay, then you're, you're not gonna disrespect my employees. You think you can what come in? Do to you them? disrespected my manager. You're not coming in. Oh, then you're not the manager. Him. You're not you the manager. Disrespected one of my managers. Listen, I called her little girl. And that's inappropriate. That's not stuff. respectful. You don't speak to someone like that. She you don't speak to another adult like that. You're not allowed in the store. I will call the cops. Okay. No. Listen, listen. Okay. This is ridiculous. Okay. Listen. I know it's listen, not listen. worth it, but just, she just, needs just, to. Can you give me the, just, give me the store phone? Just, just, yeah. This neighborhood Karen was honked at and for this reason thought that that justified them having a total meltdown and confronting the honky. That's when this Karen got confrontational and face to face with them and even tried fighting them over it all because they were honked at. Let's have a look. I'm sorry. This is my mother. And your mother's acting like a bitch, okay? Okay. So how about that? And you need to stop recording me because the more you record me, I'll record her. I'm sorry, I'm just a little concerned because- I'm a little concerned too because she's honking at me. How does she like to be honked at? Exactly, thank you very much. I don't know what happened. You don't even know what happened, but she can tell you what happened. All and right. it was just a split second when I looked down, I wasn't even on my phone. Okay, I'm sorry. For her to be honking at me like Maybe. a grown woman. Maybe she's older than me. And wants to write Maybe my there I don't care. was a miscommunication lady. I don't give a f lying. I don't give a f you're fat. I'm so sorry. Get in I the car. Get you. in the car. I'm fat. I'm fat. Hey, hey, I'm fat. Hey. Why are you calling me a fat? I need to learn how to not talk to I you. I get over it. No, hey. you need to learn how to f the fuck. Her. her children are right people. there. I you scared the f of me. You just ran at my mom. Whatever, I don't care. You just ran at my mom and got out of your car! Where do you live at? It doesn't matter where I live at. Well, the cops are gonna want to know anyhow. I'll tell them. Well, go ahead. It's none of your business. Well, I see your car, so I'm, I guess it won't be hard to figure out where you live at. This very aggressive Karen had way too much to drink and tried to get on the bus with a bunch of other people, which wasn't going to happen when upon entry she decided to start abusing everybody and telling them to go back to their own country. The problem here though is this Karen was actually traveling abroad and she was in China at the time and she was telling Chinese residents to go back to their own country while they were in their country. Let's have a look. You want that? Are you want that? Are you want that? You okay, yeah? Hey, you know what? You're drunk. You know what, mother? Excuse me? Excuse me? Call them right now. Call them now and find out. They're not allowed on the bus. They're not allowed here. You're racist. Yeah? You know what? You're going to be. I can ask your opinion because I'm not helping. No, you want to see your video? Tell me. You and me can go. My girl is interested in anyone. And you know what? I bet she loves to make friends with you because she's a loving creature and you're not. But why don't you go back to China where you grew up? You're in China. I just said go back to China. Wait, You're in China. Like, sorry. You're in but China. I'm in Hong Kong. You're in Can China. I ask your opinion? Goodbye. No, I didn't ask your opinion. Take this off. Oh, yeah. I'm a fight. 
Yeah, you'll be famous. You're famous. This woman was causing a commotion on this public train because nobody would give her a seat or give her some space. She started demanding that people should move and get out of the way when she found herself in an argument with several people. They then called her out for her entitled behavior and she stated that they're only arguing with her because they're jealous that she's pretty. Let's have a look. And you're touching me unnecessarily. Well, you know what? You're touching me. You're the one that sat your fat, sloppy body down. <laughs> you wish. You love me to be a silent object. What a hell. Have a nice day. Keep your sarcasm to yourself. You're not very witty. I'm not your doormat. <laughs> I don't know one person here anything. You just think that you have the right to disrespect me because I'm an attractive woman. This Karen pulled out into oncoming traffic and she was completely at fault for what happened next. She then blamed the other driver as if she wasn't at fault before getting out and confronting him. You can also tell that she puts a breath mint into her mouth, meaning she's expecting to get breathalyzed and refuses to take the blame for this and then has a total meltdown when the other gentleman decides to call the authorities. Let's have a look. What are you talking okay? about? You okay? Why What's you going stop? on? Why did you get out? I had enough room. You were speeding, sir. What? I had enough room. You were speeding. I was speeding? Yeah. Yes, hello? This father was demanding that his daughter be put on this ride immediately, which they couldn't do as she wasn't tall enough for it. That wasn't good enough for him when he decided he would try to fight his way into having his daughter go on the ride, making all sorts of threats and accusations towards them, and given the ultimatum that unless his daughter got to go on the ride, he would end up taking them to the parking lot and fighting them. Let's have a look. Down below. The girl with the mole on her face. Believe me, this kid is going on this ride, or me and you are going out in the parking lot. I'm telling you right now, three rides this kid has been denied. Three rides this kid has been denied. This kid is going on this ride, bro. This kid is going on this ride. Listen, you can do it your way or you can do it my way, bro. This kid has been denied. The girl with the mole on her face. You'll see. She is not riding. She's not tall enough. Yeah, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm going to make your life miserable right now, bro. Listen, you're messing with the wrong guy, bro. I'm telling you right now. See this kid? My eight-year-old daughter crying? You'll see. You'll get somebody up here. I will shut this down, bro. No, do not shut down. I'm cutting it down. This kid, I am not going to listen to my eight-year-old cry again. We went to the ride at the bottom, and they, she passed the thing. Otherwise, we would have not come out here. Otherwise, you go, you go, bro. You go. Take your chances, bro. Take your chances with this guy. You know, listen, it's your job. I get it. I'm shutting this down. What?
Okay, so this gentleman noticed that somebody was trying to open the door to his property and he went outside to confront them. Now, it ended up being a couple of entitled Karens who wanted to purchase his house and decided that instead of registering to inspect the property, they would simply help themselves in at a completely random time. The gentleman was not very happy about this and when he confronted them, they backpedaled pretty quickly stating that it should be a privilege that somebody who drives a Jaguar wants to inspect their house. Let's have a look. You guys are cute. Have fun, you little asshole. Go away. Goodbye. What do we have over here? Scared of your license plate? You can go lick it. You do that very well, I can tell. Well, you're on the, you're on, you're being recorded right now. And you have a child in your car? Yes, I sure do. Because I can do that. Because I've got the f Wow. Let me tell you one thing I know. Somebody trying to sell their home doesn't drive away a buyer driving a Jag. H-E-W-902. Yeah. I don't want your money. Uh -huh. Get in your car, drive off. Uh, no, we'll sorry. drive away when we're good and ready. Exactly. Well, right now you're blocking my then means of exit. Good. good. And I'll stand here and I'll park here until I want to leave. Where's your agent? We're, we're messaging him now. Where's your agent? He's supposed to be here at 6.45 and it is now 6.50. Well, you are ba basically trespassing right now. And we, are leave. we are not trespassing. This is a public street. Yes, you street. are. This is po called public, public street. street. Yep. Here, take the picture Thank right you. now. There you go. Thank you. Have it. Goodbye. You can leave now. Okay, so at this political party, this Karen decided who can and cannot be invited into the room. That's when this Karen stopped this lady dead in her tracks and told her to leave immediately or because of her ethnicity. This Karen claimed that because of her religion, it wasn't possible that they could share the same views and for this reason wanted this completely random lady out of her sight immediately, even though she had just as much right to be there as this Karen. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be in this party. Oh, really? No. Why not? Why not? Just listen a minute and I'll tell you after my 50 year pen. The reason why is because they do not believe in God. I do believe in God. But they do not. As a race, it's a, it's a thought process. They have their own God, which, which Jefferson did not recognize. Ma'am? When he did the Constitution. And so you don't have the right history background to be in the party. Sorry. I, I want her to. You know, like, you, you could, you could t No. She's from yeah, Syria. Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. I'm yeah. real so serious. I'm not going to engage any longer. You guys serious. have a great day. I'm concerned about I'm you. I'm going to pray for you. I do have God, and it is the same God. I don't think so. Okay, well, okay. thank well, you very much. I know that you're probably very conservative, conservative and um, I appreciate you. Don't even know me. I appreciate your And I'm allowed to call the phone. You know, thank you for the answer. You talked in my face. That was so ridiculous. I just caught you on film explaining what you did to me. I will talk Thank you on your face. Okay, so this gentleman was trying to get some drinks and the bartender was giving him a hard time because he didn't believe that his military service card was a valid form of ID, but legally it was. And for this reason, this bartender actually took his ID, refused to give it back, and then even cut it up as he was so certain that it was a fake ID. This ended up actually being illegal. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a real ID. I don't understand sure what you're Dude, it's don't, all real. Okay. Don't let, me, let me call my boys in a minute. We've been, we've been to Iraq and Afghanistan. You don't even look old enough to know about 11. You're so right. Get the out of my house. Get the out of my house. He needs his ID. You can't lie to me. It's like a passport, you dumb. Have you seen a credit card? Yeah, I've seen a credit card. Yeah, but yet you can't peel the filament off. No, you can't. Peel, peel that all you want. Peel that one all you want. Peel, peel that one all you want. Peel that one all you want. Peel that one all you want. I'll give you. Cards, Look, dude. I'm he not said, to show me a credit card. I'm not trying to ruin your cards. You're right. I'm telling you. He said, you show me a credit card. You said you could peel these off too. Wait, what? What can you peel off? You want to peel some off of that? Here, peel, peel some off of that. See if you peel Bro, some off that. Not, that's my social security card. Here's, I'll give you my library card. Peel some off of that. You're telling me that my Missouri ID card is more secure than a military ID? It's not secure. It's more. Don't, don't, it's not even, don't what do you mean it's not secure there's no yeah, shipping? It's not even a contract. Yeah, what do you mean there's no security because it's not shipping? Like, like, you're telling me that I... 
This difficult customer was at a McDonald's and he was demanding a refill. Apparently they don't do refills for customers and he had stated that he hadn't even left the store and thought that there was enough reason for him to get a refill when they don't do that. The gentleman is confused and believes that they give refills to people who are in the store and believes that they think that he walked in off the street and is just trying to get a free soda. Let's have a look. Record. I don't give you permission to record me. I uh, look, I'll, I just come through the door. To, I'm not even finished with my drink. And she tells me I can't get a refill. I never left the premise. How? Huh? I didn't even ask for any question. I, but I didn't. My drink's not. Look, look, he's getting a refill, but I can't get one. He, look, I can't get a refill. She's threatening to call the cops. What's your name? What is your name? Don't worry about my name. I asked her for a card. She tells me the number's on my card. And look, they're calling the police on me for trying to get a refill. And this is, I haven't even finished. I haven't even, I haven't even finished. Look, I haven't even, I haven't even finished my drink. Look, she's threatening to call the cops. She's calling the cops. I never left the parking lot. So, I never, how am I leaving the, I never left the premise if I was left. So, but there's no sign posted saying, where's the sign? Can I, can I have a refill? Can I have my, can I have my first, can I have my first refill? I will be contacting the corporate. I'm going to send this right to corporate. And what's your, what is your name? This lady was not following the social distancing rules. And for this reason, she couldn't actually be boarded on this flight. She found this incredibly outrageous and took out her anger on the employees, even though they didn't make up the rules. Inevitably, this Karen was removed from the flight and she was going to miss it as well. So she tried her best to abuse her way back onto it by speaking to the higher ups. They obviously weren't going to allow her to board as she wasn't following the same rules as everybody else. Let's have a look. And, and why can't I get on my flight? Why can't I get on my flight? Because you're not answering the security questions. What security questions? I answered your questions. Okay, can I see you one? asked me if I have e-cigars in my bag and I said no. Okay, what other security me? question do you need? I'm trying to ask you a what other security question do you need? I gave you my boarding pass. What's in your hand? What security question do you need? I can't even get an answer out of you, ma'am. What question need, do you need the need, answer to? You said I wouldn't answer your questions. I need to see your boarding but you already saw my boarding pass. Thank you. This is the third time. So what other question do you need to answer? We're gonna get you a supervisor. I don't need a supervisor. I'm trying to board my flight. And why can't I get on my flight? All that supervisor talking. Excuse me, I'm talking to you. Like everybody just now came in here in line. You stopped me. You pulled me to the side. You said my bag didn't fit. And it fit, and you saw it fit, and then you said I had too many bags, and that they're not letting me on my flight. You said I couldn't answer questions. What question do you need the answer to? I need a CSM to gate number 47A, please. Okay, what so question do you need the answer to? Someone what question do you need the answer to? You're the one that blocked me from getting on my flight. Okay. I'll let you talk to the supervisor now. For what? Trying to For what? For what? What did you call your supervisor for? To talk to you. For what? Talk to me about what? To talk to me about what? Put your phone down. To talk to me about I'm what? Okay, so this lady was parked on somebody's driveway waiting for something when the owner of the driveway came out and harassed her. He was very upset that she was parked in his spot and demanded an apology, which he wasn't going to get. Although this lady was willing to move her car and tried to in front of him, he wouldn't allow her to leave until she had apologized and admitted any wrongdoing. Let's have a look. You can't give a simple apology. You can't apologize. One thing. You can't apologize. You have to try and be... Hey, move your car now! I just asked for an apology oh, for parking in... Apologizing to you. Oh dear, oh dear. Move your car! Mate, move your car! Oh well, if you just say sorry for parking in your park... I'm not saying sorry to you. You're trying to intimidate me. Move your car! I'm asking you not to move park in... Move your car! I'm asking you not to park in my parking space. Move your car! I will move my car when you just say oh, sorry for parking I'm in your parking space. Sorry to you. Move your car now! 
Okay. This gentleman was at a dog park when he was confronted by a male Karen who wanted his identification. This male Karen wanted him to prove who he was and what he was doing in his neighborhood, to which the gentleman responded saying he would just leave and take his dog with him. This male Karen then tried to pull a citizen's arrest and refused to let this gentleman leave the dog park, illegally detaining him. Let's have a look. I call his own car. We can make this easy. You don't got to worry about it. I'm about to leave. No, you ain't leaving yet. Why can't I leave? Because I'm detaining you right now. For what? For criminal trespass because you don't you don't live here. So how's it criminal? I live right here. I can no, no, I can you don't bring live my right dog. here. You don't live on this property. Oh, okay. This is criminal trespass. You were over here the other day, and you made some comments to some people because they made a comment about you beating your dog. I never beat my okay, dog. Okay. Well, I don't care about that because that didn't happen on our property. Okay. Wait a minute. You're not leaving. Sir. I just said you were being detained right now. Well, you did say I was being detained. Excuse me, sir. You're touching me. That's right. I'm Why are you touching me? You. You can't touch me. I'm detaining you right For, now. Why are you detaining me? For criminal Excuse trespass. Me. You see this? Come on, Ziggy. Let's you're go. Not, you're not going anywhere right now. Yes, sir. I am, bro. Sir, you can leave if you want to, but I'll just pick you up at your house. You can't pick me up in my house because I ain't did nothing wrong. Don't walk up you on can me. back up out my face. That's no, what you, you can do. No, you walk up on me. Now, I'm going to tell you, we can do this. This ain't no big You deal, bothering dude. me, sir. I didn't do nothing but this come over no here with my dog deal. and bring my dog to the dog park. And this is criminal trespass. Okay, well, I will leave. You said it's criminal trespass and I'm leaving. Why are you still harassing me talking about I can't leave? Why are you stopping because me I'm, from leaving? Because I'm detaining you. You can't detain me oh, if this I is my can. first time being here. You don't tell me what I can do, sir. We, if you just chill out for a little bit. No, 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 no. We're not doing none of that, bro. You're going to step away from me because I really feel unsafe. Okay, well, if you want to say you want Come here, Ziggy. But you're not going anywhere until... Uh, Okay, so this gentleman was walking to his car in his apartment complex and this random Karen accused him of following her, believing that he had every intention to break into her car. This was obviously not the case as he literally lives here and was walking to his car and this Karen profiled the gentleman and called the authorities on him. Let's have a look. Hi, I live here. I've been living here for about five years and then Karen walked up to me just now and she was pestering me about what I'm doing following her. What, what am I doing? She came all the way to my car, and now she's, did you call security yet? I, yeah, I called one of the officers, yeah. What'd you, what, what did he say? He didn't answer. I was trying to leave a voicemail. You want me to help you call security? Sure. How long y'all been living here? Go right ahead and call security. How long y'all been living here? It doesn't matter how long. I'm you got living. anything to say or no? You just. I got my car broken into. I don't give a. Only a month ago. I don't give a. I pulled in here where I pay $1,700 a month. First off, sir, the description was exactly what you're wearing. And then you have a backpack. That's crazy. So the description was me of the person that broke into your car? Yeah. The hoodie, everything. Back they had on a pink hoodie when they were breaking in? Why? I just mentioned it. I apologize. They had on a pink hoodie, black nails, and a backpack. I mean, she did this. I'm not content creator. I'm an influencer. If I wanted to, you'd be finished. Weird. If you raise your voice, no, what, if I get more likes, I get more likes if a white woman walks up to me and asks me what I'm doing in my apartment. White, thank you. She's not white. All right. <laughs> She's Mex. She's Mexican. All right. Good day, Karen. And this male Karen had a total meltdown at these random ladies who were in the pool together. This male Karen was playing neighborhood watch and demanded to see proof that they lived in the complex, otherwise he wasn't going to let them swim around. It obviously is none of this male Karen's business, so they didn't provide any proof to him, which only sent him into a bigger meltdown. Let's have a look. I've had enough of your and your I'm tired of you people breaking the rules. say no cussing. Please don't cuss me. You can't cuss in the pool area. There's been no kids in the pool this entire time. And also says you have to have proper there. swimmer on. Also pool. says you can't be We're here past 10 o'clock. Get out! It says you, have to, you can't be here past 10 o'clock, and I see you and your family up here all the time. Past I manage this pool, and I keep things clean here, and I Please. fix things. Now get out! You can't follow your own rules? Get out! I'll wait for the police to escort me out. If, <laughs> I'm sorry. Because I'd like to talk to them as well for the way that you're treating me. You're being a belligerent little child, and I have asked you to leave. You're being a harassing old man. You are harassing me for swimming at the pool. You're violating the rules. So are you. You can't cuss. You have to be wearing proper swimwear. You can't be here past 10 o'clock. Turn that phone off. No. Why? Because you want to disrespect me? You want people You're to You're disrespecting know? me by arguing with me about the rules. You're screaming at we my We have face. rules to follow Sir, around here. you are screaming at me. For not wearing a... Thanks for watching, guys. And if you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.